Good evening, everybody. Welcome back once again to Rogues Gallery Live. Like I said, welcome to Rogues Gallery Live. This is episode 143. Uh, we're going to do the next level showcase preview, plus the latest in statue collecting news. And of course, we have a ton of picks. I was just telling the guys that we've got a lot of picks to look at because we had the auction show last time, which was a great success. I want to thank everybody that tuned in for that show. Um, but uh, this is back to our regular, regularly scheduled programming tonight. Uh, with us, we got this guy right here in wayne manor rocket city mr dan defaults in the you house go. you got it right uh, you are on a roll with that my friend no wayne manor north round for quite a while <laughs> i've been practicing at home yes kudos to you yeah hey everybody good to be here again uh happy to see everybody in the chat and uh happy to see that everybody had a really good auction i love seeing everybody that posts the pictures of the stuff once they receive it um that's just really fun and uh so that was great and it's it's exciting too because they're excited about it. Yeah. You know, it's like yep. they're excited to get something new. So that's why that's why we like to do it. So yep. anyway, thanks again to everybody that participated. Uh, we also have uh, Mr. Matt Martin in the house. How's it going, Matt? Hey, how you guys doing? Great to be here tonight. I'm looking forward to uh, looking at some picks and talking about some topics. Glad to have you here. Uh, we also have Mr. Eric B from All Things Art. How's it going, sir? Um, doing good. Good to see everybody. Happy Wednesday to you. And uh, last but certainly not least, from the Secret Sanctuary, we have Mr. Jeff Delaney in the house. How's it going? Going really well. Happy to be here. Happy we're going to catch up on pictures. I've been watching them on other streams. <laughs> I haven't been able to talk about them. So this will be a good night. It was funny because, like, I remember, like, two weeks ago, we're talking about uh, doing the the gallery or the uh, the auction show. And I remember you hit us up to, like, are we going to talk about picks? Like we've got <laughs> picks to talk about. And I'm like, well, maybe we could do it the next following week. And I know you couldn't the following week. I couldn't last week. I knew you couldn't do it. So I'm like, yeah. it's like, so we're just, we're making everybody just wait for us, you know? So, <laughs> so, uh, you know, better late than never, I suppose. Right. Yeah. Uh, so how in the world are you guys? Great. Doing good. Doing good. Hanging Doing in there. Good. Um, Got some, you know, with respect, like Dan said, it's great to see when people like post pics of like what they got because seeing other people's collections is kind of cool too, you know, not just always seeing our stuff because I think if we see like our stuff all the time, it can get stale. So it's always good to see other people's collections. Absolutely. Uh, a lot of people saying hello to Dan. It's good to see him back, obviously. Yeah. Uh, we love having Dan here. It's uh, just not the same without him. So we're glad that he's here tonight. Um, but anyway, welcome everybody to the show again. We really appreciate it. Um, anybody have anything new? I know, uh, Eric and I were just talking before the show. We, uh, got some exciting news. I, I did you see that photo that was posted? Uh, I saw that right after I messaged you. Yeah. Yeah. I saw it. And I'm like, for, first of all, I thought it looks really good. Yeah. Like the colors. Cause I've been worried about the colors, but the colors look really good in that shot. Uh, we're talking about the, uh, George Jimenez Joker eyes bat suit. Um, which I know is not everybody's cup of tea, but uh, it did ship and we got the tracking finally updated when it hit the, the United States and it looks like Tuesday night. So yeah. Tuesday, uh, I don't know if we're going to, we were talking, we might do a double live unboxing. We might not. Well, we'll see. But anyway, um, yeah, Tuesday is looking like we're finally going to get that piece in. So cool. congratulations. That's a, that's a cool piece. Yeah, hopefully uh, both boxes arrive at the same time. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, <laughs> that boxes, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah absolutely. Uh, anybody else get anything else new in lately? I, I got a box today. Ooh, boxes are Ooh. good. <laughs> yeah, what was that? I saw that picture. So um, I was on the wait list for the Prime One Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman for months Ooh. from both Sideshow and Prime One, both versions. I would have taken anything and never converted and i got an email from a collector a member of your group chris and my group wonderful who offered me his at a reduced rate oh and, um, he was one of those collectors and it's he's not um he's not the only one who when he assembled his when he brought Catwoman down on the base the heel of her shoe snapped off oh. ah. but he repaired it or he had somebody repair it i don't know um, but he offered it to me for a really, really good price, and it arrived today. So I haven't unboxed it yet. It just arrived like 45 minutes ago. 
Nice. Well, that is exciting. I, you are going to love her, my friend. That's awesome. Yeah, well, yeah. That'd be um, cool. Of course, you know, it's interesting that the, the J&D piece is starting to, uh, you know, take over the internet this last week uh, with the, the, the two versions of Michelle Pfeiffer. So, again, it's always interesting to me, um, you know, to kind of compare and contrast. Um, I think, let me see if I have that here somewhere. Um, let me see if I have it. I think I do. Well, let's see. I did have it. <laughs> Let me see if I deleted it. I might have deleted it. Hold on. It'd, it'd be interesting to hear your your take. Uh, hey, uh, Ragged's Edge is getting Vampirella tomorrow in the chat. Nice. Ooh. That is such a great piece. You um, probably got yours that you canceled. I say I hope somebody got mine for sure. <laughs> at, w at which time? Which time did I cancel it? Uh, okay. yeah, right. You know, well, I can't find it anyway. If I find it, I'll I'll pull it up on the screen. But um, yeah, congratulations to that Vampirella piece. It's just beautiful. Um, it's it's funny because it feels like I don't know. Does, does it feel like there's been a little bit of a statue of lull? A little. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's weird, right? I think me and Dan were talking earlier this week, or maybe this past weekend, and saying there's really nothing out there that's like OMG, you know, type thing. I've got to have. Frozen, uh oh, uh -oh. You were frozen for a second there, Matt. Oh, um, well, uh, Dan and I were talking. I think last weekend how we thought um, <clears throat> there's really like no statues out there that were like OMG, like a day one pre order for us. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I, I was uh, I, I was talking with uh, Ch Chad from Tweeterhead earlier today. We were just kind of talking about the the industry and you know, how things are going, kind of what um, what they have planned. And um, man, they have some really exciting things uh, planned for everybody, um, especially like with the, their bus and things like that. I know they're they're going to try to tackle about um, I think six to eight a year. Ooh. Um, which is going to be really exciting. Um, and, uh, just kind of breaking news for our next show, um, uh, which two weeks from, I think it's on the first, um, I'm going to have some tweeter head prototypes, um, here oh. in the back cave. I'm going to have, I'm not going to let you know which ones yet, but I'm going to have maybe three. Um, so you can see them in hand. I, one might be a production sample. Um, so th that's sure. going to be pretty exciting. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I did also get uh, an update from Chad. I asked him specifically today about uh, Two-Face. Um, he says that they are finishing up in the factory and they're looking to be shipped probably by the 30th of this month. Awesome. Um, and That's so good. of course it's going to be on a container from there. So there is a little bit of a wait still. Um, but he did say, um, quarter scale and the six scale both. So, uh, if anybody's been wanting the update on two face, uh, that one's coming. I can't wait to review that one here on the channel as well. Really, really excited about that. But, um, again, just lots of really good things coming. And speaking of that, I also have two exclusive photos, uh, from tweeter head tonight, um, that has not been shown anywhere. And so I'm excited to reveal those as soon as we look at photos tonight. So, um, oh. got a couple of, uh, full full reveal photos for you guys so that'll nice. be pretty cool so anyway it's a little bit of an update on my end um and so yeah anything else anything else you guys getting in anything besides jeff hmm. uh, i spent some reward points earlier today but uh they were about to expire so i just grabbed some cheap stuff off a of sideshow grabbed an uh our, our print and some sideshow swag mm -hmm. uh, anything like which any particular art print uh, the, what's that one? Gotham by Gaslight. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. That's a really good one. That's a good one. I got that one on the wall right here. It's awesome. Oh, you have it right? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. My points were about to expire. So I was like, all right, let me grab something. I had a, uh, like close to $150 in points. So I was like, I'm gonna use it on something. Yeah. It's a nice well, that's, print. That's awesome. Well, haven't you been buying enough with all of your black and whites? Well, yeah, yeah. Well, this was this, this was free money, so I figured you know, <laughs> I got to use it before I lose it. So <laughs> that's right. Well, uh, if you don't know, Eric's been buying uh, these guys right here, left and uh, right. I, think I, I have, have many of them. I have three right now, so I'm excited about that. But uh, how many do you have, Eric? Now, uh, thirteen with one more on the way. I Ooh, think. Nice. Fourteen, make it an even twenty. Come on. <laughs> nah, I think I'm already past. I I probably should have stopped at like five. 
Oh, Dan, that one that you sent me arrived. Everything's good. I Everything's good. It arrived safe. Good. Yeah. Yep. Chris, I, you too. Yep. And I got, I got the, uh, the one as well. So, um, uh, I don't know where he's at. Oh, he's right here. So I got this one from Dan. Yep. Which is very cool. Uh, of course, Sean Murphy. And uh, I'm excited because he's also going to be at Fan Expo Dallas. So I'm hoping to get my back cow signed by him and maybe a little sketch. We'll see. But Cool deal. Um, well, well, uh, um, Chris, uh, so um, I think most everybody in the chat knows him in Huntsville, Alabama. And Huntsville ran their Comic-Con last weekend. And um, smaller con, not bad, a little more retail heavy than I typically like. I like the art stuff. But Nathan Zerdy, who lives in Florida... Uh, made the trip and um i'm going to have a couple of these available nice next auction that is awesome oh, oh they wow. look good cool yeah. it's the litho and uh beautiful colors pops in person really really nice so. yeah they didn't have those in uh megacon did they no whoa, whoa sorry <laughs> did you have a rocket's red glare go off there <laughs> can you not see it vibrate no. no no so that is an artemis 3 rocket <clears throat> that is a big, big, big rocket. Holy cow. Boy. <laughs> the whole house is shaking. Um, so do you have, do you, have you, do you ever get used to that yet? Like, is uh, that something like, it's like this one. So they put, what they do is they have a Facebook group and they post in the group. They kind of give people a heads up like, Hey, tonight expect, you know, wow. the camera is shaking. Is it still yeah, shaking? I see this, yeah. The camera is shaking. Uh, wow. And when they, when, they, and so when they do the, the Artemis uh, rockets, it's huge. <laughs> so, how close are you to that? That's crazy. Um, you know, it's so the arsenal, which is the name, it's a it's an army base, right? And the army runs the base, it's an army base, and they have multiple agencies in there. So FBI's in there, NASA has a big presence in there. All of the staging for the International Space Station, when they put together payloads, it's all done over there. Um, and they do a lot of army ballistics testing and that kind of stuff. So they're they're testing munitions and, and all of that. And then NASA tests rocket engines. And these are the biggest ones they test. And it just, this one's shaking. I can hear it. I can hear the stuff vibrating, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's just crazy watching your camera. Like, it's just nuts. Yep. Uh, uh, that's crazy. It's so, the biggest one I felt since I've lived here for six months. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Sorry. Uh, speaking <laughs> of your art print, though, JWR says, uh, Dan, do you have the comic signed? Uh, I don't have the Catwoman comic signed, though. No. no, I have it unsigned. I don't have it signed. I uh, have the, a Theodore have wants a to know when we're going to get two of the yeah. Oh, sorry, Matt. Go ahead. Well, I have a signed one, so yeah, nice. Uh, people want to say, when are we getting a tour of the rockets, Dan? <laughs> a tour of the rockets. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, a, 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 a good who's somebody who's become a good friend of mine who now is a uh, who's a neighbor. <laughs> is a um a blackhawk crew, crew chief yeah, that's cool and so um he's working on getting me in, into the arsenal to see one of these tests but um i will bring that to the channel if i'm able to do that that's pretty awesome that's yeah. awesome well uh i just can't imagine i think it would just scare me but you know like what, what you do every day would be brown pants you know just like <laughs> oh my god like you know you know it's the rocket tests aren't this one is particular this is a, that is a giant rocket. <laughs> but, we have um, Dan Fluster tonight. I love it. Of, yeah, this is it's no it's no small thing. So, but uh, sometimes the things that catch you off guard are the bangs when they do the munitions testing, and it's just like a a bomb or a rocket or some kind that gets your attention because it's more of a bang. This is just a big rumble, you know. Um, like the only thing I can think of is like whenever like we were just at Disney and like we were at um wilderness lodge and we were on the other side of the building opposite of like where the fireworks are but every single one of those boom boom yeah. those concussions where it just rattles the whole building yep i'd imagine that's probably what it's like most of the time is just where you get that big concussion it, it does it's really not you know um it's nothing crazy normally you know you hear it it's a big bang it's no big deal and it's not that often this is the first time in a couple of weeks that i hear it and uh definitely the heaviest so far but that's that's crazy. It's, well, it's, yeah, it's got to be fun. It's got to be fun. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Well, do you guys want to move on to our first topic tonight? Um, yeah, again, we've got some maybe shorter topics because we got a lot of photos to look at, but uh, I thought this one was interesting. This was, this one was uh, posted by a collector in our Facebook group, Batman Statue Collector Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. Uh, please join there if you haven't done so. Also, please join Secret Sanctuary Facebook group also if you haven't done so. Uh, two really great communities with a lot of positive people in it. And here was the topic. Uh, topic one, are manufacturer events becoming a joke? Prime one, no show, sideshow calling things monster and villains, but not showing much of either. Um, I think the the prime one, no shows are talking about how they tease years ago and still stuff hasn't come out yet um, yeah. or been up for pre-order yet, um, which, you know, could absolutely happen here on Friday night. Uh, and I just want to plug our show too. Friday night. Um, we're doing our live reaction show. And so if anybody's able to join us, um, that's one of my favorite shows of the year where we do our next level reaction just to see what new stuff they have. Um, they've definitely teased a lot of things, uh, including some new movie franchises, also a uh, Superman, which we believe probably will be the, the Del Auto <laughs> Superman. Um, but, uh, it, you know, it does make you wonder there's pieces like, um, the hush pieces that have still been teased and never right. released the quarter scale ones. So, um, and that Delato Batman, the, the standing one. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That um, was going to be uh, that was going to be both scales too, right? That piece. Oh, maybe, maybe. I thought, I think I'm we sure thought. Was... Yeah, I think we thought so, but I'm kind of wondering now if it would just be quarter. But I don't know. I mean, I don't. Yeah. I don't have any inside information on it. But um, in terms of the of the of these shows, like I don't know about you guys, but like regardless, I still enjoy them. I still think that they're. They're a lot of fun. How, how are you guys feeling about, about these things? I think for I, the most part, I mean, I, I feel pretty good. I think of all of them, Prime 1, I feel pretty good. I feel like they've they've teased some pieces, though, that I think got people pretty excited that they haven't delivered on. I, I don't like that. I, I don't believe that they should be featuring pieces that they're just kind of you know, uh, testing the waters and seeing re fan reaction. I think it's kind of, you know, uh, I don't know. That doesn't seem cool to me, but, yeah. um, you know, the one that comes to mind, Chris is the one, you know, that, that features the, uh, the character that's right behind you and your new, your new artwork. Um, okay. you know, wow. Oh, there it goes again. Um, yeah. I mean, that's really cool, but, and the piece that they, they teased, I don't know if they're still doing it. Has anybody heard anything about that one? No. I, I haven't heard a thing and I, that would be a, a piece that, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I bought this piece of art is because I, I love it. It really spoke to me. And again, I, you guys know I was toiling over it for like a month um, of whether to spend the money on it. And it was still probably really <clears throat> stupid, but um, I really liked the idea of having this, this really cool quarter scale phantasm. And uh, right. I really enjoyed the book. I finally had a chance to read it. And again, it's just, it, it is shocking. I know, and having some conversations with prime one, I feel like their, their higher ups do not have a lot of confidence in DC. Um, I do, however, think that if, if DC starts to have a resurgence, especially some success at the box office, I think that companies like prime one will be more willing to start up again, you know, start fully bringing us these pieces. Um, but, Again, I've heard radio silence on the hush pieces. I've heard radio silence on the Phantasm and the Catwoman and Batman Dio. Um, I think she would sell very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love her to be. I would love her to be uh, third scale. <clears throat> you know, I've, I've. Whenever we talk about what drives excitement in our hobby, you know, I've kind of said for a long time. I think one of the key drivers is the movies, or are the movies, right? It's, it's the box office, and um, just kind of driving that raising the dial tone, if you will, of excitement in general around the characters that we love. And, uh, wow, they are just going tonight. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Do you guys see anything on the horizon? I know the new Deadpool movie comes to mind. Um, yeah. Some excitement around that. Are there any others, like, on the near-term horizon that would cause that to change? <clears throat> Joker think, movie. I was going to say, we'll probably four. see a million more Joaquin Phoenix Jokers. Yep which I don't know if anybody cares, although maybe like some Lady Gaga statues, I could see where maybe yeah. some people might be interested in that version of Harley. Right. Um, Cause I think she will be popular. Um, she has a really large fan base. Um, 
And again, like it, it, if this Superman movie does well, but again, what is that a year out at least? Uh, there's a, a yeah. big giant delay. There was another, a, an additional year delay on the Batman. So yeah. it was going to be 2025 yeah. and now it's going to be 2026. Um, which really has me concerned, um, about the direction of what they're doing, um, with these films. Um, but obviously again, Colin Farrell, like kickback says, maybe a Colin Farrell, uh, penguin. Um, but well, we do have the show coming out. On yeah. HBO. I was going to say that show's coming out. So, I mean, there are some things that I think are, are coming. I think, uh, maybe the, on the Marvel side of things, obviously like, um, with the X-Men 97, I haven't watched that. Um, yeah. That's good. Uh, yeah. Uh, and so I can maybe see some, some excitement there with, with, with statues maybe. Yeah. I would look more, more towards TV than film. There's, yeah. there are things coming up, you know, there's daredevil born again. Yeah, um, that's true. There's another season of peacemaker. Um, there's yeah. rumors that we're going to see a uh, homelander from the boys on Friday night from prime one. No, so there's, there's, there's TV stuff where there might not be movie stuff. Can I completely go off topic since we're talking about TV just for a second? So I yep. watched two episodes of a show over the last couple of nights and I'm completely hooked. Fallout. Fallout. I, love it. It's I watched the whole thing. Yeah. I freaking love it. I love the art it's direction and all of it. All of it is so good. The kind of the mishmash between the sixties and the futuristic, yeah. you know, tomorrow. And right. uh, so is it, have all of you guys watched it? I haven't seen it. Not yet. I heard it's good though. Yeah. You, got, you gotta watch it. Watched it. He played the games. Uh, if you play the game, but, you might not like it as much. Yeah, maybe. I'm glad it's I haven't seen, played the game then. Yeah. I haven't yeah. touched the game, so I loved it. But some people who don't like the changes. Is that yeah. the one with that Atkins guy that's rumored to play Batman? No. no. I think no. That's something else. No. That's Reacher. Oh that's yeah. Reacher. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's Reacher. Yeah. Stanley said Fallout is a bit weird. It is, but it's like it's <laughs> so well done. Yeah, uh, I, I'm not going to spoil anything, but there's one of the one of the actors in episode uh, one and two is the the guy from Lost, which I love the show Lost. Yeah. He was the the creepy the creepy guy from Lost, the Dharma Project. Um, it's just it's so good. So you've watched all the episodes? Yeah, I finished it. It's really good. Is it the whole season already out, or is it? Oh, so yeah, it's weird. Prime One doesn't normally. I'm sorry, Prime One. Prime Prime, Prime video, video. Yeah, doesn't normally do that. I think they do one a week. But they dumped the whole thing like Netflix does the whole season. Time. So it was like eight episodes, or was it more than that? I think it's eight. They're pretty long episodes, so I mean they're yeah. like an hour long. So, um, but I, yeah, sorry for getting off topic there. I just like it's, if you haven't watched it, like I'm 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 trying to get my wife to like you've got to watch the show because I think it's just it's a little violent at times, but it's got some weird, really weird, funny moments and. Oh, the the ghoul is awesome. Oh, the ghoul is great. I love it. And getting his whole backstory is really cool. And yeah, I like it a lot. it's been, it's been really good. So yeah, if anybody, if anybody wants a cool show to start binge watching, I, I recommend it again. I'm only two episodes in, but I'm, I'm, I'm hooked and I, I, I don't get hooked very often. So I, it, it was really fun to watch. So, yeah. um, so yeah. anyway, uh, getting back to these shows, I mean, again, like for me, I, I I think that it gets us hyped, whether it like again the sideshow thing. Like I I haven't seen a lot of monsters and a lot of, you know what what are they calling it again? Monsters and villains. Like I feel like that would have been more appropriate for like Halloween time maybe or something. But yeah. um, I still feel like right now companies are desperate to get your business. Um, uh, again, just having some conversations today, I think that you know, anytime that the companies can hype up what's coming or hype up what they're working on, um, you know, I think it's smart business on their part, um, whether it's, you know, entertaining to us or not, I still think it's a smart idea, but anybody else want to say anything about the shows? I think it, it depends on um, which company, like the prime one event Friday night, we are clearly the target audience for that presentation. Yeah. I'm not sure we are for the sideshow events. All of the live streams that they do with Jesse and that whole crew have no appeal to me at all. Yeah. It's like it's really it's a different it, community than than us. It is really strange because there obviously the last three or four years at Sideshow, and again, we love Sideshow, we love Sideshow's products. We're all big fans. 
but on the social media side of things, we are all, and, and maybe it's because we're all old dudes over 40. I don't know, but some are, some of us are pushing 60. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> and so I get, I get, the, I get maybe their audience. They're trying to do things that skew younger, yeah. but, but like we've said many times on the show, like what the hell are they doing? You know, like what, yeah. what is this? Like who, who is this appealing to? Right. Um, and I, I just don't know. Like you would think that they would want to target, yes, the new buyer, but then still also do things to, to, to hook us <clears throat> back in mm -hmm. the old folks, you know, it makes me wonder what are they really selling? What is successful on their site? Right. Right. Are we just wrong thinking it's yep. our <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I mean, well, you know, obviously yeah. there's, I mean, premium formats, I would think that are doing well, but I mean, obviously they offer a tremendous variety of figures and yeah. vinyl stuff and like just, you know, Hot kitty, toys. kitty clocks and whatever, you know, whatever yep. weird, bizarro stuff that they're, they're, they're selling. And and they're smart. They're, they're a distributor. That's what they are. Yeah. Um, I mean, and Hot Toys just, must put the, Premium formats to shame. They must. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. They must. Oh yeah. Um, but they're, to go they're, back to Prime One. If you go back, like like years ago, we used to say like, oh, I wish these companies would, you know, give us a teaser, like you know, show us what's coming out. Uh, this way, we can plan our collections. And then it's like they started doing that, but it's it's taken them so long. We're at the point where we're now with Prime One at another showcase, to where the pet, you know, products from the last showcase haven't even been. Yep. Put up for pre-order. So it's, it's kind of like overlapping at this point. So I appreciate personally, like I said, the, you know, them showing us what's on the way, but it seems like it's taken a little bit too long for it to finally get there. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And like, like Dan said, maybe they're testing the waters, you know, and it might not have any interest even review, uh, you know, putting the product out if there's no interest in it. So, well, well for me, you know, every time Prime One says, okay, a showcase is coming up, I, I still do get excited. I still get those, oh, crap, can't wait for Friday, you know, da, da, da. But with respect to, like, Sideshow, which we all love and we all have Sideshow items, it's, it's just like nothing they've revealed lately has been like, OMG, I want to see more of that. At least to me. That's my opinion. But you can come on. Um, yeah, I think, I, I mean, I think that Obviously, the companies are are slowing down um, in many regards. Um, not not all the companies, but they're they're releasing less. The the edition sizes are lower because I feel like you know a lot of people are not buying. Um, but again, maybe they're just not buying the stuff that we like. Um, you know, maybe they are buying the hot toys and the vinyl and the you know the stuff that's a hundred dollars or less. Yeah. Um, and that's. It's very understandable because again, times are are tough. Um, these things are luxury items. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it's they're not necessities, and so it is what it is. Um, but I still feel like because they're doing these shows to keep trying. You know, they're trying to, like you know to hook hook a, a new collector, and I think that's probably their primary goal right now. Is they already have us? You know, we're already hooked. You know, uh, doing the video today. I don't know if you guys watched it about you know, collecting obsession. And, um, I see Chester in the chat. We talked about Chester today. And again, thanks uh, for letting uh, me talk about you, Chester on the, on the video today. Um, because it is, a, it is an interesting topic about how we, we are all hooked on this stuff. You know, this, this is our kind of our gateway drug, you know, and, uh, but maybe that's, that's the point of all these other shows is even though we don't get it, they're just trying to get their, their hooks into somebody new, you know? Yeah. Um, which again, which is, which goes back to like, they're not at conventions anymore. Like that to me is where you would hook people, you know, like seeing all these, all these eyes on, um, you know, you just went to WonderCon, Jeff, like, you know, how many people could have seen a booth like that and been wowed by it? Well, yeah. You know, I, and, and I, someone, at, there was a sideshow panel at WonderCon, which you might've seen. I, I videotaped. Yeah, thank, thank you for sharing that with us. Sure. And someone actually asked them that question, are you going to San Diego? And um, she explained that no, they're not. Wow. And that they feel like they can get a better response from doing their online sideshow con. And I didn't want to be the, you know, <laughs> the bonehead in the front row raising my hand. And also I was trying to film. 
right. I, I wanted to ask, well, how are you going to reach new customers? You're preaching to the choir on Sideshow Con. How is anybody new finding your online convention? Nobody. I wish you, I wish you could have asked it. I would have loved to have seen their response. Yeah. Was it was it Anna that answered? Yeah, it was. Yeah. She's the moderator. Um, and, and is fantastic. And she's, she's, she shoots from the hip. Like, you know, she's really cool. Um, and so, and I, and I'm sure that there's some things she would probably want to answer, but probably couldn't, you know, and she, she admitted that. Yeah. 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 Um, which, you know, puts, puts people in a tough spot, but it's like, and I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of them want to do the show. Cause I know a lot of them enjoy, you know, the interaction and I'm sure some don't <laughs> cause it's, it's yeah. a lot of work, you know, it's exhausting right. work, uh, watching those guys, uh, work their tail off talking to people and promoting and, and all that stuff. Um, but I, I do agree. I feel like that is a big missed opportunity. And we've talked about it before um, that, you know, sideshow I'm, I'm first of all, I'm really glad I, I got to experience at least one of those. Yeah. Um, Cause I don't like, like you said, I don't know if we'll ever see one of those again. Um, but like we've talked about before, you know, they don't need to have 12 spaces in the middle of the showroom, they could have gotten two spaces yep. at WonderCon just down the freeway from them and displayed all the prototypes for the stuff they've released in the last six months between 12 days and all the great stuff that they've revealed since then and gotten a lot of attention for a minimal cost. And it would have been great. There were no statues at WonderCon from anybody. It was wow. pathetic. Wow. It's crazy. Yeah. Jeff, would you, um, could you associate Sideshow not being at uh, SDCC and in um, New York in particular with change in leadership. Like, do you know, did they swap out any executives like the person that runs marketing or sales or? Not that I'm aware of. Um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, other than who's the gentleman that we spoke to um, the last time he came to the convention, Chris. Was it Terry? What? I think Terry, he's like the head creative art director. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Other than him, I don't really know who's involved. Well, there was that one guy who came out and said how great those white Star Wars characters was going to be. I think he's one of the owners, too. Yeah. Never okay. seen him, but he had to promote that thing that nobody cares about. Sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, no, I don't know. And I, I'm sure it, it's got to be all pandemic related and, and all that. But um, I really think they're blowing it. I really do, too. Yeah. yeah. I, and, and, and again, I mean, is too. what? Tweeterhead is, too. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I know that it, I mean, it killed Chad last year, not being there. I know that that was, but I mean, he's part of that booth. So, you know, if sideshow's not there, then I'm sure that that's probably tied into that somehow. But they're not doing monster Palooza either. Wow. They should be at monster Palooza. Wow. That's gotta be a pretty cheap show to set up at. And I go did that by himself. Chad wasn't, doesn't, doesn't even do that. So that, that, uh, that was his own booth. Still doing conventions. What's that? PCS, they were doing uh, the Chicago, I think. Yeah, they're going to do C2E2. C2E2, yep. Um, and, you know, God bless PCS. Here's the thing about PCS. I feel like over the last year, people are starting to talk about them. You know, it's like we're having conversations about PCS. They're, they're you know, surprising us with a lot of new franchises, um, a lot of new sculpts. And some of their sculpts might not be everybody's cup of tea. But, again, I just had, like, that Super Shredder in here. It was freaking amazing. I loved it. Um and so I feel like they are creating a buzz, but they're also showing up at these conventions. Like they are putting, you know, the boots to the ground and Adams is, you know, he's a, he's just fantastic. And the fact that they were at San Diego still iron studios was still there. Um, but yeah, they're going to be at C2E2 with the booth. Um, and I think that's smart. I just think that is a great way for a lot of people. I think what Chicago is what, what the third or fourth biggest market, um, of all the cons, I think, yeah, I mean, you have San Diego, New York, MegaCon, and, and C2E2. I think those are probably the yep. biggest in the country. And those are um, the three he's doing. What? Those are the three he's doing. Right. And that's just, that's smart, right? I mean, yeah. it's just, it, to me, it's really smart because it gets, it gets new eyes on this stuff. Right. Um, and, and it's just, and, and I know that like, I think <clears throat> part of it is, is in the old days, maybe like Sideshow and some of those companies they did not have all of the extra YouTube advertising. I feel like that's what we do. Like we are, it's the same with Disney. Like Disney used to have all this extra marketing and they still do, 
but they rely on all these influencers to film the parks, to yep. cover the new events. They, they, they bring out the influencers on day one to show off new rides or new festivals or things like that. Um, and so I don't, I, maybe that companies like Sideshow, they don't feel like they need to do that anymore because we're already covering it. It's like that, uh, that collector zone event. Look there, you know, all the, you know, YouTube influencers are going out there to cover, you know, they're sending out products and, they're going to get, you know, free advertisement off of it. So sure. They'll even need yeah. to set up, a, you know, a convention. Yeah. So I, I think that any, you know, any promotion like that is fun and it, it creates buzz in the community, whether it's, you know, a, a local event or whether it's a big giant event um, or an online event, I still feel like it's all fun and it's all, it's all good. Um, but again, I feel like it really boils down to like, can they get the product out timely and, can they actually like, I feel like if they're going to show it, they need to put it on pre-order pretty soon. Yeah. Yep. I agree. But yep. I do feel like, like going back to sideshow again, I feel like sideshow is, has been doing a pretty good job of like teasing something. And then it goes up for pre-order pretty quick. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes and no. There are still, I think four pieces from 12 days of sideshow that haven't even been revealed yet. We just have the card. <laughs> and what about Superman? Superman ever go up for pre-order? Nope. No. No. Right. No. I wonder if they're tweaking that. Maybe. Do you think? Do you think maybe because of the feedback? No, it could be. Maybe. I don't know. That was that's that was Kucherik Brothers, wasn't it? Hmm. I forgot. I can't remember. It might have been. I know people like didn't love the face. Yeah, I didn't love the face. I didn't love the face. They need to tweak. They need like to tweak that new Batman they got coming out. <laughs> <laughs> they need to really tweak that. <laughs> that one's already yeah we'll, yeah, we'll talk about that here pretty soon uh, in photos for sure. So hold hold your thoughts there. Let's move on to topic two. Uh, Prime One, next level showcase. Since we're talking about these shows, um, this is going to be Friday night. Um, I think I have it scheduled for like 7.45. I might, might start a little bit earlier, like maybe 7.30. We'll see. Um, but somewhere, are you guys all able to join me Friday night? Yeah. yeah. Looking that way, yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, Friday night is going to be the show. And uh, again, if you're not familiar, it's basically prime one does a stream. You can watch it at prime one's website if you want to, or you can join us and hang out with the live chat. Um, we really appreciate it. It's one of our biggest audiences of the year. Um, we usually have three to 400 people join us. So it's really fun. So, um, anyway, this show is probably going to be a mix of stuff that <laughs> we we could care less about uh or are really excited about now prime one has done some they, they've done kind of some weird stuff like where they told me they're like we're going to do these sale videos events but we're not going to reveal anything new but then guess what they reveal new stuff <laughs> i i don't really understand like what what that is or if it's just like hey we're just going to sprinkle these little things in these little teasers in um and some of those teasers have obviously already gone up for pre-order so again it's very strange where we have something like that uh that vampire batman that zombie batman that came out based on the uh, art of tony daniel um that wasn't teased on any of the next level shows but was randomly teased on one of these sale videos and then boom it's up for pre-order like that um, so I don't know. Let's, let's just kind of go around the horn. Let's talk about what they, what you think the show is going to be like and what you would love to see them do, what you would love to see them reveal. Hmm. We going in order, Dan? <laughs> no, yeah, you, 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 you guys can just pop in wherever you guys uh, want. Um, yeah, I think like we've been saying, I think we're going to see a lot of gaming statues, uh, anime statues and, you know, based going by what you were saying, Chris, less DC, you know, they don't really focus on Marvel to begin with. So probably not Marvel. Um, yeah, I'm expecting like a show of just like all gaming statues, like stuff <clears throat> that we have no idea about. So it should be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they did real quick. They did uh, show the Superman symbol. So we, we believe it's probably going to be the Superman on throne, um, yeah. which is uh, what they tease with the Gabriel, Gabriel Del Otto. Um, so we'll see. Go ahead, oh, Matt. Yawn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would like too. to see finally the the one fourth hush Superman um, that they teased a while back. Um, of course, Chris, you got you got the full scale Superman, um, but I would like to see that, and I hope they do it with a fabric cape. So that's like my personal like 
you know, would love to see that because I would definitely get that. Um, but also, I think I would love to see like a hush cap woman, something or like the Superman on the throne, um, something new like that. Those would be uh, it would be a great show if uh, they announced some more um, about that and even maybe gave a production up, update on the Delato uh, throne piece. Uh, you know, hey, we're on track for, you know, whatever year it's going to be at this point. You know, type thing. <laughs> 2057. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll all be you know, waiting on that one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how about you, Dan? Anything in particular that you would love to see them tease? If I'm being realistic, I think, you know, definitely, I think Hush Cat Woman would yeah. be me. For the win, for me. Um, I honestly, I mean, I didn't see zombie Batman coming, but I don't know. What were you going to say, Chris? I was just going to say that we that they have already teased her printed, the Catwoman hush. Yeah. Like they've already, so they already have her done. She is done. They photographed her. So in my opinion, we are going to see hush Catwoman. I, okay. I can, I can almost That'll guarantee it. <clears throat> That'll be a win for me. I yeah, guess. no doubt. Anything else? I don't think there's anything realistic um, to expect. I mean, although, you know, that zombie Batman was uh, so far out of left field. I don't even. Yeah. Seems like they do that a lot. Like they just put out oddball pieces. Yeah. I, I think you're going to, you probably something, see something more from Predator. You might see something new with respect to Alien uh, from them. Um, but in terms of my own collection, I, I don't, I don't know. I, can't even think of anything that they would produce that I'd be interested in, to be honest with you. Is there a character that you would be interested in? Like that you're like, wow, I can't believe they, they finally did this character. Not that I expect that they'll do. I mean, I they, wonder. you know, I mean, of course they should do a hush Riddler. Of course. No I mean, brainer. You know, no brainer, right? They should do a hush Riddler. They won't. <laughs> so, you know, I don't even. I wonder if we'll see more like of uh, Godzilla and King Kong pieces with that. I bet we do. I bet you see Godzilla minus one would be, they'd be crazy not to do it. They have. They they already already, they announced it. Oh, Um, did they really? Yeah, we're going to see a Godzilla minus one. Did you guys see that new movie? The new Godzilla? I want it. It looks good. I saw saw it. Did did you like it? Uh, <laughs> that might have said it all right there. Yeah. It's kind of like watching a Transformers movie. It's just so much CGI. Um, but I found the characters to be slightly amusing, and it was a good excuse to watch or eat popcorn for two hours. And I'd give it like a five or six out of ten. Gotcha. You must have hated it. I walked out. Oh wow. Oh. <laughs> After Damn. 30 minutes, I, 30 minutes, I'm like, uncle, I can't take anymore. It was just, they, they, I don't like when they turn, you know, like uh, it, rem, what they did to King Kong, it reminded me of what they did to the Hulk in the, in the, at the end of the Avengers series. Like, oh no, it made, made him like Hulk. soft. I don't, I don't want to see Kong the way that they portrayed. I just, it just wasn't interesting to me. And like you said, Jeff, the whole thing, it, it, it looked and felt more like a video game than a movie. Uh, did, did, did everybody see Godzilla minus one? That was no, great. Have, yeah, that was. Good. I haven't seen it. Godzilla minus one kind of ruined CGI heavy movies for me. Yeah, yep. right. I, yep. I can't remember which one it was, but I saw a, a really heavy C- CGI movie just a couple of weeks after Godzilla minus one. Yep. And I hated it. Yep. Because the practical effects in Godzilla minus one look so good. Yep. I didn't want all that CGI crap anymore. Yep. When did that? I don't even know what you're talking about. What is the minus minus one? What does that like even mean? It's like an old school Godzilla movie. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, they put it in the the kind of it, the the easiest explanation. Jeff might can do better, but it's like the old school Godzilla movies we used to watch on like TBS. Yeah, but mo- more modern, but without all the CGI. It's the it same. The it's- people you started, you know, care about the people um, yep. that were in the movie. Um, so they did a great job at the storytelling. It's the same Japanese studio that made the original Godzilla in 1954. Yep. And they based it on a, um, what do you call it? Kamikaze pilot who wimped out. That's the story. Yep. Basically. And him trying to get his honor back. Yeah. And, uh, 
I don't know. The visuals were fantastic. The practical awesome. effects were really good. I, I, I really <laughs> even re-released it in black and white because people yep. wanted to see it in black and white. Uh, it was really cool. It was great. I and won the Academy Award for special effects. Yep. yep. Stanley says it's like Jaws, but with Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, you know, it, it's great these days that we have the CGI technology and all, but I think I'm a big fan of the Aliens uh, franchise, especially like Ridley Scott. And, you know, his big thing was show less and it creates the fear slash let your imagination, oh God, what's going on? If you show less is more, is, yeah. the, is the old saying that Ridley Scott kind of uh, came up with. And the, but if you watch his, like the old school Aliens movies, I mean, just, you know, you're just looking down a tunnel and you're like, oh, is one going to pop out here? One, you know, type thing. Just that we, less is more. We are 70s, 80s kids. And we had practical effects. We had where yep. filmmakers filmmakers had to be creative because they didn't have the technology. So yep. to me, there is nothing that will ever replace practical effects yep. um, ever. I mean, yes, CGI is great at times, but it, to me, it's, a lot of times it instantly dates a film. It just doesn't hold up sometimes. Yep. I mean, there, there are some films where it does, um, but it's like... <clears throat> I just I, I I love films that do practical effects. So is this one streaming already somewhere? Do you no, guys but they're trying to figure out how to get it streaming in North America because none of the studios in North America have the right to stream it. Ah, so I'm so not where sure. do you watch it? Uh, Japan, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I do guys see it. <laughs> just, just, everybody, let's all get in a plane. Let's all go no, watch it. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that the Japanese studio distributed through an American distributor. I think that they have dealt directly with the theater chains. Oh, uh, Mike says soon on Prime. Kickback says May third at stream. So maybe okay. we're getting close then. So I heard first. I heard May third oh. on Prime, but then I heard May third on Prime in Japan. Ah, uh, I'm not sure which one is correct. Maybe so. Okay. Well, you have my interest. I think that sounds awesome, actually. It's really fun. Um, well, getting back ask, to so there's, I have a question from from a viewer. Yes. <laughs> this isn't related to our topic, but he asked me to ask, so I'm going to ask. Okay. Sure, go for it. All right. Uh, when getting books signed and graded at cons, whose signature is more valuable, the artist or celebrity that's on the book? And if you have multiple books from different companies on the same franchise, whose are worth more to get signed or more valuable later as an investment? For example, IDW and Image both have Transformers books. I think on that one, it would, let's just take Transformers. Of course, let's just say you've got a, um, a Transformers cover that's like from the movie, one of the movies, let's just say to get like one of the actors uh, to sign that cover, you know, it's up there. You know what I'm saying? Now, with respect, that's going to be worth more than the writer, let's just say. Um, now, if we're talking about like a an a old school comic cover, you know, with Transformers, you know, probably the, the cover artist slash writer would be your top, your top two, you know, your top two to get uh, signed. Yeah, um, for, uh, I'll go. I'll take it down. I, I have some Avengers uh, comics, but they're the movie covers, and I got like I was lucky enough to get like Robert Downey Jr. to sign it, uh, and some other, you know, uh, you know, um, some of the other uh, actors that were in the movie. Um, you know, I think it's like signed by like at this point, like ten different people. You know, what I'm saying ten. I mean, all of them. You know, it took me a few years, but. With respect, if I was going to an old school, you know, just um, a Avengers comic, I would want like the the artist slash writer to uh, autograph it. I guess. I was gonna say, the, the way I look at it is, when you CGC something, basically it just turns into a flat piece of art to me, which is the cover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just like to get get the the cover artist on the on the book for the signature, and that's it. That makes sense. But I mean, as I mean, like Jeff Delaney, you you have a lot of really old classic books in CGC, like high value, really great books. Do you look at a signature book as less than? 
you know, I'm not a big fan of signature books. Um, it does hurt. So, some people don't, yeah. Especially when like- When I was like uh, 18, I went to my first convention in San Diego. And um, a friend of mine, Dave Smith, who owned a, a company called, Fan well, actually he still does, owns a company called Fantasy Illustrated. He had a booth in the, in the hall. And we're sitting there chatting and Bob Kane walks in the room and he's walking right towards us. He's walking right down the center aisle towards us. So Dave go goes to his board, takes down a copy of Batman number four, takes it out of the Mylar and says, hey, Bob, can you sign this? And Bob takes out a Sharpie out of his pocket and scrawls Bob Kane all over the cover of this Batman four. Just, it looked horrible. <laughs> yeah. And I think that probably, uh, ended my interest in having books signed just because of that Bob Kane incident. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, Golden Age books or even Silver Age books signed by the artist or writer, there's definitely a market for that because most of them are gone now. Um, but it's not something that's ever really interested me. I like books the way they were when they came out on the stands day one in 1942. Well, value usually value is always going to be higher on a non-signed book, right? I mean, no, no, no not always. No, no, it, just the opposite, actually. But yep. now, nowadays, you know, as you guys know, people are smart enough that they'll provide a window on the cover where they want something signed. Right. You know, a lot of collectors do that. We weren't that sophisticated in 1983 to even think about that. So things got signed wherever <laughs> the person wanted to sign them. Like right in the middle of a Batman logo. Oh, Look yeah. at that. Right over someone's face. Mm -hmm. or yeah, yeah. Yeah. Going by like comments in the comic book forums, I would say the whole signature thing is more of like a modern comic book uh, style thing to where if you go back to like golden age books, especially key issues, most collectors aren't going to want a signature on that type of book. They want the books to be pure, you know, not touched. Yeah. Well, you know, the, the, what, what, what's different now is, and this is because of CGC, it used to be that when you ask someone to sign your comic, they open the cover and sign the bottom of page one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so CGC they didn't want the cover. That. Yeah. They, they didn't want the cover ruined. Right. But it's ever since CGC, people want to see that signature. So it's always on the outside now. Yep. So they changed the game. Oh, in many ways. Literally. Yeah. yeah. In many ways. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, great, great topic, by the way. Um, again, way off of our Prime One Studio Next Level chat, <laughs> but I'm really glad that we talked about it because it's it, it is interesting because you know it's like and I, I'm sure like anything else, it's subjective as to yeah you know what people want. Like, what are you wanting? Like, do I want a Jason Fabok signed Detective Comics 1000? Hell yeah, I do. You know, yep. um, and so be, just because I have a connection to that, I love that piece. I have the statue and I have, I've met him and hung out with him. And we got to have, do that at Megacon. And so like that piece is even more special to me now. Um, but DC, so, DC put out a reprint of Action Comics number one back in the very early 80s, maybe, and had Siegel and Schuster sign them all. Wow. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Wow. That's pretty cool. And those pop up every once in a while. So that'd be a fun book to have. Do uh, those go for big money, Jeff? When they yeah, up? they go for th four figures. I'm not sure how much exactly, but it would be at least a thousand dollars, if not more. Wow. And, um, yeah, but as for Prime One, I do have a few thoughts. Yeah. Um, apparently, they're going to reveal a Megan statue. Yep, I saw that teased. I'm, I have no idea what scale they're going to do. I can't imagine it would be something like quarter scale because it would be tiny. Small, yeah, I, yeah. You know, don't so, you think it'd be third and it'd be Blitzway? Uh, One edge through life, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Although they're doing all that weird scale Harry Potter stuff, right? That's true. Yeah, so that's different, and that really, really cheap Harry Potter stuff, like really yeah. cheap. And then apparently they they are they put the logo up for the boys, so people are assuming it's going to be Homelander, which would be cool. A nice Homelander statue would be nice. Um, as far as what I would want, I, I always want a Chris Reeves Superman, hopefully by Blitzway. Yeah. The J and D just didn't do it for me. The Clark Kent is really good, but I just don't see Chris Reeve in that Superman. Yeah. I think oh. I think if anybody can do a good Chris Reeves Superman, it would be Blitzway. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely really an do. opportunity there for them to make one. Yeah. yeah. Bringing me bringing me a drink. There's there's the lockster right there. 
Where's well, mine? Say hi, to, say hi to everybody. Everybody. Hi. Hello. Hi. He, he gets curlier every time you see him. <laughs> what? You got to quit sticking your finger in the electrical socket, bud. <laughs> Chris, is that what your hair looks like when you grow it out? <laughs> I don't know. I, it's, been, it's been like 40 years since I've had longer hair. So <laughs> I, uh, I, I used to uh, get my hair cut every couple of weeks or whatever it was. And, and then my friend one day, he said, he's like, just come over here. And he like shaved my head. Yeah. Uh, he had an electric razor. And so I've just been doing that ever since. I haven't paid for a haircut in oh my God. 30 years. Yeah. I think I, I've been uh, shaving my head short, like since I'm like 20 years you. old. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> oh, say wow. it's 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 crazy, but like it, I my hair gets curly in the back if I grow it out, like so I don't even know, like it's been, it's, it's very it's a lot like Ledger's if you've seen Ledger's yeah. hair. So, um, so really good stuff from Prime One. I, I guess is everybody gone? I guess I haven't really shared mine yet. Um, <clears throat> I, I I would really like to see catwoman obviously from hush i really i really think we're going to get some sort of riddler i don't know what i just think that we'll finally get a tease of him at least uh, i don't know for sure what uh what scale uh, i would like to see a third scale riddler again i just, i don't know what they would do but i just i think it's time um for them to be first out of the gate um i would love to see them tackle they're really into dioramas right now, so I would really like to see yeah. them do a three jokers fabok. Um, I think that that could be fun. Um, and I know Jason has expressed interest in continuing to work with them. And so, uh, if they did that, it would be a home run, Chris. Uh, you know, they I like the so. fabok pieces, so. yeah. Yeah. I think so. Well, I was gonna say, yep. as long as it's not another fabok head, I think we're gonna be okay for the joke the, the Batman, right? Um, but in terms of, of the three jokers, I think that would be really successful. Um, the other day, I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but I was doing one of the, the hangout streams and I don't know if, if Brad Ladner is still here, but he had a great idea for a statue and his idea was to do Batman surrounded by all the different versions of the Joker over the years. And Ooh, cool. it would be kind of like a sanity piece, but like yep. imagine a Dick Sprang Joker and a Capullo Joker and yep. a George Jimenez Joker, like all around Batman. And what a, what a tribute to the two of them would that would be, I think. Um, so I don't know. I, I would love to see something like that. I would love to see them continue on going outside of their throne pieces. I feel like people are kind of over it. Um Seems Even like they're though, focusing on dios right that, now. That, that's what I would prefer. Like I would much rather prefer the dio, like the Batman versus Batman who laughs, like that sort of thing, or Killer Croc. I think there's a lot of really fun possibilities that they could do um, to bring other characters that maybe they don't have as much confidence in, um, like a, like a Clayface versus Batman or, or something, um, or even being even more um, innovative and in making them be able to be swapped out. Um, you know, have Batman have a static pose, but then put Harley in, put Killer Croc in there, whoever, you know, and do something creative like that to make it fun to collect. Um, I would love to see a Hush I, uh, hush uh, Harley. Um, I think just that uh, Prime One hasn't ever done a Jester uh, like that. I think that would be really cool to see, you know, a traditional Hush. Would you, Dan, would you get a Hush Harley? Possibly. Possibly. If they did her well. I love you. You know, I'm. I've been a big proponent of the idea you mentioned about you know Batman with the Jokers, and you know they they sell an initial Batman. It's got a certain style Joker, you know, that's reflective of a certain artist's work. Great, that's Joker number one. And then every few months or twice a year, they come out with a new Joker that you add to the statue. You know, maybe that Joker's in this, a similar pose or whatever, and you can just swap them in and out. I why come? I, I think statue companies need to think a little. There's no innovation, right? It doesn't seem. And I'm sure there's innovation on the quality and the detail and that kind of thing. But in terms of how these things are presented and sold, you just tend not to see a lot of innovation, you know, different ways to buy. You know? I think, and I think that's the company's fault. Like, I don't feel like it's the creative's fault necessarily. Oh, and no, I, 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 I go back to Disney. Like, you know, the Imagineers have a million ideas that they would yeah. just chomp at the bit, but they don't have the financing. They don't have the go ahead from the higher ups. Yep. Because they're the money people, and I get that. It is, it's a business at the end of the day. I think there is a lot of creativity there, but it's it's they're being pigeonholed, obviously. I think. Yeah. I don't know um, if they would still 
keep doing one third, but how about like a one third scarecrow and a one third freeze that we never got? In yeah, we never had them. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Don't know why. Um, I don't want to. I, I don't want to divulge too much, but I, I, I've, I've heard rumblings that we're going to get some sort of Mister Freeze at some point, point. Um, and I think probably sooner than later. Um, again, I'll just let everybody stew on that for a little yeah. bit. I'm not gonna. I mean, I'm not gonna. If go not, we know Leg Legendary Beast is going to focus a lot on the villains, so. But it'll be. Yeah. I, know, I would like to see Prime One, you know, tackle it as well. Uh, again, going back to what what Chad uh, was talking to me about today, uh, you know, in the in the bus line of things, the characters that he's mentioning, like it is exciting, guys. Like, believe me, these characters that we are talking about, he is going to be bringing us. Um, again, it is really important that people are supporting the line because, again, he has big aspirations, big plans to go as as deep as we want to go. But again, we have to buy them um, and and show that we are interested. Um, and so, again, I'm very excited about what I've seen. Again, I've seen a lot of renders. I've seen a lot of printed things and everything that I'm seeing, I'm very excited about. So, um, but again, it really does come down to us, co uh, us actually collecting them, actually, yeah. you know, putting our money where our mouth is. JWR says, how are there 182 people watching only 45 likes? I don't know where we're at with our likes, guys, but please do me a favor. Hit the like button. That really does help us out. It helps other people find the content. Really appreciate that almost 200 people are here tonight. Uh, again, I cannot thank you guys enough for that. Um, again, I just want to thank you. Also, I, I need to go way back up because I missed this earlier. Uh, we had a five dollar super chat Canadian uh, from Board Cube One of Two uh, says if you could send one of your collectibles into space, what would it be? And I think he's talking to Dan right here because uh, you're in Rocket City. <laughs> yeah, yeah which uh, which statue needs to go to space first? Which statue needs to go to space? <laughs> That's an excellent question. If I, you know, just to jettison one, I I don't have any more like that. You know that I feel mediocre about. Um, <laughs> if that's the question, which one would you be willing to part with? How about uh, that, like that little mini Harley head that you got back there? You got that little that little Margot Robbie head that could go. What about Mini Chris? Some Mini Chris. Uh, yeah, yeah, Mini Chris could go up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. That's that's the one. We'll send Chris right. to space. <laughs> mini Chris, he's taking a nap on the top shelf up there. I that's what I'm doing. I'm taking a nap right now. So it's uh, yeah. <laughs> we could send uh, Mr. Freeze here. He has like the oxygen tank on his. That's head. the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we, we have talked about, uh, all, you know, all kidding aside, we have talked about a lull right now going on in the, in the statue, uh, at least it feels like that to us. But I, again, I've had so many conversations with, with companies and stuff is coming that in my opinion is incredibly exciting. Um, in some cases innovative. Um, but I feel like, again, if, uh, the companies need to listen to not just us on this platform, but the community at large and really listen to what they're wanting because if they're wanting that and are willing to put their money behind it, um, that's what they need to do right now or the companies are not going to be very successful. I don't think, um, you can't just put out the, the same old, same old. And can, in the old days, people would buy the same old, same old, but now you got a new Batman from sideshow that, people are like, eh, I don't know. And so it's like, there's going to wait till the next one, um, which there will always be a next one. Um, I don't know. Any, anybody else have anything else to say segue. about? I think that's one? a great segue to pictures, Chris. Okay. I think yeah. so too. I think so too. So let me get rid of this. Uh, again, we've got a lot of photos to look at and so we'll get right to it. Chris, the chat wants to know what, what what three pieces of art will you be buying this coming week? Well, I will discuss that here soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's get into photos though. All right. So here's one of uh, the exclusive photos that I was talking about. Um, can you guys see it? Okay. Yep. yep. Yeah. All right. So uh, this is going to be a a variant. This is something that's going up for pre order tomorrow. Um, and, uh, this is a, a, a trap jaw variant. It's uh, going to be limited to a hundred pieces and it does go, go up for pre-order tomorrow. And this again, is just a color variant, but it's not just a rehash of the one that's already up for pre-order. We have this photo first time we get a chance to see it. And then also the full reveal of him Ooh. and he has a completely new arm. 
Um, and so it's not not exactly the same as the uh, the original release. Um, this is definitely more like the traditional colors of the uh, the 80s figure. Um, but again, what do you guys think of this uh, this variant? Looks cool to me. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah. I forgot what the other one looks like, but yeah. It's uh, darker colors, um, maybe a little bit more modern colors, you know. He didn't yeah, have like looks... that robotic arm though. Yeah. But it was different, I guess. Yeah, no, I that... like the green. The green at the waist looks real good. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Kind of greenish gold. Yeah. Looks real good. Uh, patina. Yeah, a little patina. But... Um, again, really cool piece. And again, it's only going to be a hundred, uh, limited edition and you can get that at tweeterhead.com uh, tomorrow. And I believe if you pay in full again, you get $25 off. I think if I remember correctly, sounds right. Let me, uh, let me go into my photos really quick. Okay. So, uh, just to give you guys an idea, it goes up tomorrow at 9 AM. Um, it is going to be $660. $25 discount if paid in full. And there is a payment plan available. And again, 100 pieces. Um, not just a repaint, but also the gun arm. The gun and the hook arm are different. Okay. So, um, again, that goes up for pre-order tomorrow. And again, if you order it, pay in full, $25 off the price. So, again, that'll be at tweeterhead.com. Yeah, looks cool. Looks cool. Speaking of looking cool, I'm so impressed with this piece. So what do you guys think about this? This is not, it's not a necessarily a scale. <laughs> I, I think it's between half scale and third scale somewhere. Yep. Um, but what do you guys think about this one? This is the Berserker um, Wolverine from Sideshow. I, I really love it. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, I, can, order? I cannot believe the price. Jeff, yeah, it, was really, the price? it wasn't bad, right? It's like eight twenty. It's a Ooh. huge bargain. Yeah. So still under a thousand dollars. So yeah. Yeah. And look at the wear on the shoulders. You yeah, know what? Really you cool. know what got me, Chris? Do you have the picture where they had it in a room with other Wolverine people? Yeah. This is the one that got me because yeah. I used to own the premium format on the right, and the that that this one is going to be that much larger. It's going to be really cool. It's so well done, and I love the scale. And, and again, I, I would love to see Sideshow do more of this type of scale. It yeah. looks massive. It, it looks yeah. like it, it looks bigger than third scale. It, it is bigger. It's, it, it, it's definitely an off scale between third and half. Yeah, it's, to me, it's slightly bigger than third. Uh, you can kind of see here, uh, I've got another photo coming up where you can kind of see it next to the people. Um, gives you even even a better idea, but I love the art direction. I, I just I really would like to see Sideshow do more of this. Um, and again, I don't know really how to describe the sculpt. Um, well, I mean, it's a mixture of, of Sam Keith, who's a popular artist from '90s, um, and the Capcom Wolverine. You can tell from that side view of the pose. It's I was about straight out to say that. Yeah. It reminds me of Capcom. Yeah. That, one, yeah. that one right there. Yep. That is straight out of Capcom. That's probably why I want it. it used to be big. <laughs> They're going to sell a gazillion of these. Do, I would hope do so. Do they have a? Um, are they limiting? Uh, have they came out with like a number? Hey, only you know a thousand or nope. anything? Okay. Nope. To be determined. Okay. Oh, I like the base. The yeah, base the light. Cool. It's got a light up base for that price. That's awesome. Wow. And yeah, then that is cool. Here you get an idea of the scale of him. Yep. He's a so. big fella. I think right. with the Wolverine movie coming, the Deadpool movie coming out, it's perfect timing. Yeah, yep. I think they'll, like Jeff says, they'll sell a gazillion. And it's due yeah. this year. Yeah, that's that awesome. Lot. Again, I feel like Sideshow's been on fire for the most part lately. I, I really like what they've been doing. Um, and this is another example. And again, Sideshow, if you're listening, how about a whole line of villains from Batman? <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah. So I think in that style, in that style. I think what's going on at Sideshow is they've given the sculptors way more freedom. A lot of them are project managing their own projects. And the the good the advantage of that is that you're getting something like this. You're getting uh, Dazzler. You're getting a lot of pieces that maybe we wouldn't have gotten before or we're getting them in a way that we wouldn't have gotten them before. The only negative I've seen so far is that a lot of these 
are quarter scale and won't fit in people's displays because they're either too deep or too, tall. too tall. And it's it's a completely new line of I'm talking specifically about the quarter scale stuff now. That's just way bigger than their previous premium formats. And I don't know, they, they must consider that when they put something up for pre-order, they have to. But this piece, for example, this isn't quarter scale, but this is 20 inches deep. That's it's like, um, it's gonna big. be tough for a lot of people. Yes. It's like even, even going like back in the day, they used to do that legendary scale. Like those- Yeah, massive, yeah the half scale. Uh, those are big. Yeah, that they used to have a Wolverine, a uh, Doctor Doom, I remember. And those I were love uh, those. Really and those cool. were good. Yeah. They were I good. They had a legendary scale Batman and always wanted that one. Yeah. I didn't like that one as much. Mm -hmm. um, they even did, you guys might not remember this, but they even did a half scale Catwoman um, that they had on display at San Diego one year, but they never made her. Uh, Man. What style, Chris? What version? It was uh, very, it was similar to Adam Hughes. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Okay. I wonder if I can find it. Um, Oh me, let's see. Half. I'm gonna see if I could just bring up a picture real quick. Yeah, um, being um, being um, sideshows, you know, American distributor. Like these are, you know, these larger pieces are the ones that used to catch my eye in the comic book store because you, you know, you walk in and then you see this huge legendary, you know, size Wolverine up on the shelf. It like yeah. immediately, you know, catches your eye from like 30 feet away. Yeah. <laughs> yep, so true. She's really nice. Anyway, I'll I'll try to find it. But um, anyway, we'll move on from that piece. I think and I'm getting it. I think you should. I think it's I awesome. You ordered it already. You know what? I'm not really ordering anything day one anymore. I, I have a feeling that that will be in stock when it it's ready to ship, and I'll be able to get my educator's discount on it. Yeah. Cool. Get even cheaper. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's like 125 bucks off. It's a bargain. And then you'll probably have some points too, Jeff. So. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I want to show you this real quick. Uh, this was the half scale. Um, Sorry, it's going to be on my phone. Oh, wow. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. Also, while you backed out, you had a uh, super chat. Yeah, that does look good. Um, there's that picture, and then this was. It's like that's... printing money. Why don't they do that? Yeah. yeah. This was like 07. Oh, wow. Somewhere in there, and they only had her at San Diego. But she had like she had like the big boots. Yep. Yeah. And the museum base. That looks so cool. I thought it was really cool. I was actually really hoping that they would do that. And then they canceled her and then they ended up doing the Batman. Um, but I liked it. Uh, super chat, $4.99 super chat. Thank you guys for the super chats. Really appreciate it. JWR says $4.99 super chat. I love this group and I appreciate you guys doing these shows. Shout out to Kim and Theodore. Awesome friends I've made here. Wrestling Rogues shout out. Well, thank you very much. And again, uh, thanks to everybody that's joined us on the, the Wrestling uh, Rogues channel. Uh, just kind of started out and it's been a lot of fun. So again, I appreciate those guys helping me out with that as well um, for all the wrestling fans out there. So anyway, thank you very much, JD, JD, uh, Josh for the super chat. I cannot speak tonight. Bah. Sorry about that. Okay. So anyway, let me uh, go back to what we were talking about here. All right. Wait photo gallery okay we'll go from this one to batman oh boy. so oh boy is right um this is sculpted by uh martin canale which i am a big fan of his um he has gone on different shows he talked about influences um you know kelly jones being one of them kind of doing a more stylized batman um i I really want to like this and I feel like there are things about it that I do, but there's a lot that I don't. Um, how do you guys feel about this one in general? I like the cow, um, the chin, uh, don't like, but I love the cow. I think in the, the, the 3d model before they printed it, how the, the, um, the jawline was bigger. I wish they, if they would have did that, if they can tweak it to that, I think it'll say, uh, it, it'll get some more pre-orders, put it that way. I do uh, agree yeah. that the render was better. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I, when I saw the render, I kept looking like, why is this? Why doesn't it look like that? Like, why is it not translating the into picture. the 3D? Yeah. The first thing that catches your eye in this picture are those bats. It looks like, like I don't know. When I first saw this picture, I was like, is he getting attacked by the bats? Like, oh, it's just weird how the bats are just like on that side. And then I think what they're going for is the I mean, cape is becoming bats and the bats are becoming yeah. the cape. And it's kind I guess of they were trying to balance it out with the cape on the right. you know, flowing to the right and then have something flowing to the left. I don't know. Yeah. But even the arm, I don't really like the way the arms attached to the pole with the, the rope and stuff. I don't know. Well, the base is really interesting too with the bats kind of like, it's like showing them in flight, like a step-by-step -step of them in flight. Mm -hmm. um, I can't even see that. It's just kind of, I don't know. It's just, it's very, I don't know. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Dan, what do you feel about this one? I don't like it at all. <laughs> I don't, I just don't care for it. I, I think it, um, I mean, did he become Spider-Man and nobody told us, you know, it looks at <laughs> yeah. Man pose. Yeah. Um, the finish on him looks like sideshow 10 years ago. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's just doesn't seem to be any texture on the piece. Um, the muscle definition, once again, somebody get carried away with the, and this is not Martin's, you know, thing, but like wh why, the spray paint why, why do they have to darken every crease to, to to show the muscles can we just let light do that right which, that which sideshow has been doing so well at do, that's what i mean to me this somehow feels and and you i'm sure you can hear it in my voice it's a big step backward it's like what the heck happened you know um you look at the even like the gotham by gaslight piece say what you will about the style but at least it seems like a contemporary piece this just so doesn't feel like a contemporary batman statue regardless of the style, right? Um, this, this, I, I think you said it well. I feel like it does feel like a 10-year-old piece. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and again, going back to that Gotham by Gaslight, I, like, I love that piece. It is, yeah. it is really well done. Um, and again, this is, to me, it's not to say that it's not a, this, this is not a bad piece. It's just that I, I, I love Batman statues, but I, just, I, don't, I don't love this one. Yeah. And I, I want to try to love it, but I just... I think all of Dan's points are really valid. Um, I just yeah, noticed yeah. that. Look at this. The the you see the old Batman the base. Old right base. <laughs> the base. <laughs> Just the base. That's funny. They don't have Batman on it. Somebody made a comment. I tend to agree. Is the one on the left leaning maybe a little bit too much? Uh, oh, that's the yeah, animated so, series one. I know he, he he shoots out forward, but that looks like he's that yeah, looks like he's leaning too much. Yeah, yeah and I've had that piece on the shelf. That looks like he's leaning a bit too much. Could be just the the picture, but yeah, they, they might not have keyed it in all the way right or something. But yeah. and again, um, this piece is twenty inches deep. Yeah, it's big. Wow. How, many, how many quarter scale collectors have twenty inches deep in their display? Yeah, Ooh, not many. that's pretty pretty crazy. Yeah, I mean, th there's a few things I don't like, like like you guys said, but I think the thing that bothers me the most is the way he, he's just wrapped around the pole with that that rope and battering just i don't know it looks weird to me yeah he's like sliding down well i i see some collectors have said that i don't think he is sliding i think he is anchored by the battering wrapped around the spire and he's got his foot on top of something so i don't think he's supposed to be sliding yeah, I, I don't know and i like you know listening to their like the ideas of the concept of what they were going for and i think that's that's great. And again, Martinez is, is a phenomenal sculptor. Um, I really like what he did with the Joker and Batman that him and Daniel Bell did. Um, this is his third Batman for Sideshow. Yeah, it's crazy. Now, again, here's his render, and I feel like the face looks way better here. The way better. Way better. Oh, can I, so can I ask you, though, in that pose that they've got him on that spire, would he be expressionless like that? I would it's think that he would be angry. Angry. Like rage. Something, right? Because, I mean, he's... It's a snapshot in the middle of action. This right. is not a museum pose. Why is he expressionless? I that also bugs me. I just I feel like a lot could be solved with this piece if they just offered another head sculpt. Yep. Um, yep. it's still not going to solve all the problems, but I do yeah. feel like again, like here is here is what he did. Here's the render. Here's the final por portrait. Yeah. It just doesn't translate That's to not me. Not even close. <laughs> Look how much more rounded the render yep. is, and the the. Yeah. The prototype is angular. Right. Or, 
or keep that portrait and like I said, just give us another one. Give us, you know, right. Just get us, maybe give so, us a short eared one or, or whatever with it, with an angry portrait. But it's just like, I, to me, I don't love the portrait. I just feel like that's what ruins it for me mm -hmm. more, more than anything else. Like again, a lot of the points Dan brought up are very valid, but anyway, uh, the great thing about being a Batman collector and here, here it is in the studio, uh, without the Cape. That looks kind of right. weird without the cape. Yeah, it, it, looks sure even, it looks even hard. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the, but the, the great thing about being a Batman fan is there's always going to be another Batman. The head looks too big there. Yeah. It's with, it's without the rope, too. There's no rope. He's right. like punching he's, the, he's uh, punching it. Punching this fire. <laughs> uh, here's the portraits uh, in regular light. Oh, no. No, no, no. So. No. no. Yep. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> not for me. That's a hard pass for Dan, I guess. Hard we're pass say. for Dan, folks. Hard pass for Dan. You got, you got two portraits, but two of the same. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's like, why not just give us one more portrait? That would. And I you know, the hard thing is too, Chris. You, what you were saying about, you know, there's always another Batman. There are tons of them in the market. You, you could go yeah. buy right now. You, you, these they start to fail by comparison. Right. Right. Because how can you possibly bring this into your collection? I mean, no offense to anybody in the chat who's buying this, by the way. It's, it's <laughs> right. Yeah. Home. No offense. It's art. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? It's always, art. always but subjective. For me, how can I put this in the same collection on the same wall as the Jason Fabok Tech 1000 Batman from Prime One? Yeah. It it just doesn't make any sense. It's going to look or, or uh, It just doesn't make any sense. I mean, how do you even put this up next to their, their older premium well, format? Exactly. Exactly my point. And like I said, look, I'm a I'm a sideshow fanboy. I mean, I like I'm one of those that I actually like sideshows work. I've got a lot of their pieces. I'm looking forward to the Gotham by Gaslight. I've got that on pre-order. I can't wait to get that one in. Um, I'm a huge fan. I just I, I don't know how they look at this and say, yep, this is gonna be a big seller. Right. Well, yeah, I think like, that the edition size is gonna be very low, I think. Like I like I always say, if they give us the perfect Batman, then we'll never buy another one. So it keeps us. That's yeah, they need to do good point. Like, <laughs> <just trying> to, <laughs> that's a good point. Edition size, they probably need to do 150 and be done. Yeah, no, that I I can't imagine any Batman statue less than 500. I can't either. I can't either. And my guess is they're banking on it. Right. You're right. Yeah. Well, let's move on to Batman. Uh, on from Batman for a bit, and uh, let's talk about this one. This is from PCS. Uh, we we're talking about their success this year. This is uh, April O'Neil. Uh, this is going to be a quarter scale piece from the quarter scale line. I think she's a lot of fun. Yeah, that looks cool. Okay. She looks good, just like the cartoon, the old yeah. school cartoon. I think they did a nice job with her. Uh, there's some different swap outs with the pizza and the microphone. Get a pizza swap out. Nice. Yeah, pizza swap out. You don't you don't get to say that every day. <laughs> Look at that. That isn't that, isn't that fun? It is. And again, this is their uh, their their uh, quarter scale line, not their third scale. Right. That's yeah, cool. So it's fun. PCS has sure put out a lot of different properties this year. They have, and it's been like I said, it's been really well received. I think, in, for the most part. Yeah. And 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 it's really good about for the most part listening to feedback as well and tweaking some things. Um, although sometimes maybe not for the better. Like I know that there was some controversy this week. I don't think I have the photos of the, of their Rocky and people actually liked the original one better than the tweak that they made. Um, really? I thought it looked so, pretty good. I, was, I, I didn't think it looked too bad. They, they were complaining about the hairstyle was more like the mid eighties versus the late seventies or something. I don't know. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to mess with the Rocky fan boys, you know, apparently not. Yeah. You don't. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I think uh, this, this is a nice piece from them fun Get the mouse or droid all right let's talk about j and d uh, i'm sure you guys have had a chance to see plenty of footage now of uh, the michelle pfeiffer piece uh i i gave this one about 80 85 percent for me uh, i definitely see michelle in there but Again, I feel like we always have the same problems, same issues with J&D uh, from the photos, at least. Uh, what do you guys think about this particular piece? That one looks like Margot Robbie to me. <laughs> I could see uh, Pfeiffer. Um, I think this one fits their wheelhouse perfect because, like we always say, they're 
their statues tend to look like they're on the the sick side, like something's you know wrong with them. Like, <laughs> and uh, the sick side. <laughs> in, in the movie, Catwoman was very pale and kind of yeah. sick in the head on the you know on the sick yeah. side. So I don't think they can mess up the paint on this. So it works. <laughs> <laughs> right in the wheelhouse. <laughs> I don't think they can mess up the paint on this one. No, that's good. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Uh, regardless, I'm not sure uh, GD's going to be seeing any prototypes to It's All Art. Yeah, no <laughs> prototypes to Eric. <laughs> I just gave it a positive review. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think of the pose? Like, I, I mean, I, I, I like really, the pose. I do like the pose. So, would you have chosen this outfit for the unmasked portrait or something different from the movie? I don't mind this one. I think it's kind of fun. I think I probably would have picked maybe something different. Mm -hmm. What I would have liked to have seen really more than anything than to have the Michelle Pfeiffer just in regular clothes. I would have loved to have seen an unmasked portrait of her with the cat suit where it's all torn up. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. That's my there favorite part of the movie where, you know, she rips off the mask and, you know, she's oh. been shot and, you know, it's just that's I love that look and no one's given us that. And so Bullseye in the chat says, what about the party scene? Wouldn't that have been cool? Yeah. That yeah. could have been fun. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I thought they would probably go with. But, I mean, obviously they kind of went, this is like more like the Max Shrek, uh, you know, after she gets pushed yeah. out the window, although she would be bloody in that. But So what do you guys think about J&D not selling her individually, the unmasked portrait, kind of like, they wouldn't sell Dr. Jones without. I hate it. It's smart right. business. Yeah. It's smart for them. And they quote unquote sell out in, you know, whatever to the retailers. I, but at the same time, I think it's smart, but I, I mean, I would have considered buying just Michelle Pfeiffer. That's what I'm saying. Look, look, yeah. think of all the people who have the prime one Pfeiffer Catwoman. They might've bought the unmasked from J and D. Yep. I, I yeah. begged prime one i said prime one you have to do the unmasked michelle pfeiffer it is printing money mm -hmm. to do an unmasked portrait and i was told they're not doing it now i don't know if that i mean they could always change their mind right but to me it's like why would you not you've you've sold out of your prime one i mean your blitzway catwoman like I, don't know. I do like what they're doing with the the combination though. The other one I really that's grown on me a lot, and uh, like I would totally pick this up if I was collecting movie pieces. But uh, the other one I like a lot is the uh, the uh, Christian Bale. You know, yeah, we have Bruce Wayne and then the Batman. Yeah. Cool I mean, piece, it, art direction wise, it's really been a lot of fun with the two two side by side. And they're they're staying consistent with those bases. I'm kind of like I'm starting to see them in people's collections, and I'm like, it does look pretty cool. I mean, they're expensive as hell, but it does look cool in a collection. Yeah. I'm a little confused about not to bash J and D, but about pricing. I mean, oh, whoa, 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 you might be labeled a J and D hater. I know that's okay. Yeah, you but might on, on this piece, you know, it's what it's 2000, 1995, and it's a pretty small amount of silicone. Then you add on the other figure, which is a lot more silicone with rooted hair, and it's only a 75% additional price to the two grand. So. Why is she 1500 with so much silicone and rooted hair? And yet the masked one is two grand with just a little bit of like half her face in silicone. That was a lot of math right there. <laughs> Sorry about that math. <laughs> I know, but you're right. I mean, it does make a lot of sense. But more people are going to buy the one that's masked, probably. Yep. But yeah, but, yeah, but they're. They're doing they, twice as many of the bundle than they are. Uh, in and they're, they're going for the money. Sure they are. When, when it you? I mean, that's but the I thing is like times are times are tough for these companies. So they're going to do, they're going to try to hit that deluxe collector. But on this piece, they're trying I think to make they, her more enticing. But, yeah. I think they could have done both. I could have think they could have done 300 of the mask, 300 of the unmasked and 600 of the bundle. And I still think they would have sold out. What's the uh, the cat? Is the cat real fur? Like serious? Being serious, is it like sculpted or? I would assume just sculpted. Yeah, it Does it feel like one of, those, cat fur? one of those fuzzy Funko Pops? Yeah, it might be. Uh, what do they funny? call them? Frocked? Frocked? Yeah, or flocked or whatever flocked. it is. Yeah. Flocked. Yeah. 
I do, I do, I do like her with the coat on. I think that's kind of a cool look. That's yeah. a cool. I actually like it with the coat better. Yeah, I do too. Better. Yeah, I, I like the coat. I like this set. I, if I was buying this, I would buy it as a set. Forty-four is forty-five hundred. Yeah, it's a lot of money though. No, no, thirty-five hundred. Are you sure? It's two grand for the one or thirty-five hundred for the pair. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm talking about from J and D. Okay, so I was probably looking at Todd's prices. I bet. Yeah, Todd and BBTS and everybody else has it for over four grand. But yeah, four grand. Check from J and D is thirty five hundred for the pair. Wow. Or it was. I think. It, I assume it's gone. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, well, let's move on from Catwoman, and we'll go uh, into some Tweeterhead goodness. Um, this was uh, revealed on uh, the Rad Titan channel. And uh, this is Batman, uh, kind of the silhouette of what Batman's going to look like. And uh, we've seen the freeze teaser um, before. But uh, what do you guys think of these in general? I think the freeze look, I mean, I think they both look great. And I'm, I'm really, I mean, I hate to say another Batman statue, but it actually looks real good and real interesting from the silhouette. I kind of wish both were full statues. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I, would, I would have loved that. Yeah. But I mean, again, these are going to be like the three hundred dollar price range. So it's like these are much more affordable, though. Oh no, I, I think these are both going to do really, really well. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But that yeah. Batman, that's a pretty classic, cool looking Batman. I think it would have been neat as a full statue too. Yeah, I agree. Maybe, maybe never say never, right? And that's yeah, cool. right. Did they say they might make some of them full, full scale like this? That'd be cool. Not in the same size though. It would probably be like six scale or something. Yeah. Right. Um, also had a dark side that was teased um, as well, which is exciting. I think that'll be that'll be cool. Yep. Um, they've also, of course, uh, teased the uh, the Doomsday. It's going to be really large. Yeah. Again, third scale, so it's going to be really really exciting. And again, um, hopefully, I'll be able to have some uh, prototypes to show you guys on the next Rogues Gallery. I'm looking really forward to that. Cool. Uh, Batman and Catwoman as well. So they've teased her, obviously. So she'll be coming as well. These are part of the uh, the six scale line. Uh, this is a production sample of Superman from Legendary Beast. What do you guys think of the the way it's looking? Looks very Alex Rossi. So yeah, yeah, yeah it sure does. Yeah, that one's supposed to. I, I, I'm going for the light blue, which also has the smaller chest insignia. Yeah. And uh, this is not my favorite portrait, but. Um, I can't wait to get the piece. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Uh, this was something that was teased uh, this week. This is uh, Sideshow's Pulp Vixen. So this would be the third one that they've shown. I think this one's going to be pretty well done, actually. I like the pose. Nice. I don't think I've seen this yet. I like them all. I do, too. Yeah, yeah they've they all been great. so good. So I if mean, you can't tell, the upholstery in that chair is stuffed with money. And there's a hole That's in it, right? That's cool. She just yeah. shot a hole through it with the uh, shotgun in her lap. <laughs> That's awesome. To get the money out. Yeah. That's, That's awesome. Really cool. I love yeah, that. The, 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 the high heel going off of her toe. It's awesome. Yeah. This, they, these, uh, go ahead. No, I was just going to say they, they teased her, and then also uh, we also got this tease as well this week. That's cool, too. That's got potential. It sure mm -hmm. does. And you notice the Medusa in the background? What scale do you think this is going to be? Ooh. These are PFs. Oh, wow. Did, did you guys notice the Medusa? Oh, yeah. that looks cool. Uh, no, it's now I do. The shadow with her holding it up in the air. like uh, So yeah. they've, they've teased another one as well. And I do, do we know what this line is yet? Like, Do we have this, any information? This is the horror line that they, they announced at uh, WonderCon. That's awesome. Brand new but, premium format horror line. It's going to be really fun. And it's their take, right? Like their take on... Yeah. This is not part of, is it this? It's not the same as that Frankenstein, right? No, the Frankenstein's one fifth. It's a totally different line. Okay. Or I should say Frankenstein's monster. Right. Yeah. Which is a great piece. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this, uh, this has a lot of potential, I think. Yeah. And they said several of the pieces will have kind of a sexy aspect to them. And uh, Harbottle's going to be really involved in this line. Ooh, perfect. He, he'd be perfect for it. And that, is it kind of like, kind of a newer take on probably what they were doing with Court of the Dead? Uh, I don't know. They didn't say anything about Court of the Dead, but I think that they're going to do whatever the hell they want. And yeah. it's what it feels like. highly creative and really cool. It's awesome. Can't wait to see more. 
since our last show, this one's gone up for pre-order. This is the uh, the City of Bane. I keep tossing this one around. Um, the more I see it, the more I like it. Uh, especially with I like the uh, let's see this this portrait right here. This this one with the teeth. Mm. Yeah, that's definitely that's cool. cool. I just like it. I, I don't know. What do you guys think of this one? Is it overkill or? I, I like the whole statue. I love it. Yeah. I like it, but it's, to me, it still doesn't beat the David Finch main. Oh, no. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. beat that piece. I just I just do. It's just growing on me because I feel like it really shows how like him just being, you know, super big, super powerful. I don't know. Dan, do you like this one? I do. Yeah, I like it. And I don't care about throne, no throne. If it piece looks good and he happens to be in a chair, that's cool. Um, so that aspect doesn't bug me at all. He, I, I agree. Bane is a powerful character. And I think that's conveyed well in this piece. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. I, this is definitely on my maybe list. Uh, either, or I just, I, the more I see it, the more I like it. Hmm. But it's going to take up s- some space. I mean, it's a big piece. Yeah. Uh, and and the fact that they're freaking doing Psycho Pirate, who I don't even know who that is. Um, <laughs> why do we not have a Riddler Prime One? Come on. Yeah, a Riddler or a Clayface if we're doing a pirate. So yes. Yeah. <laughs> See, many Christmas. Who who approved that? Psycho Pirate. Yeah, who approved Psycho Pirate? Pirate. <laughs> Psycho Pirate's been around for a long, long time, man. I believe it. Since the Golden Age. That's cool. But so is the Riddler. <laughs> so is the Riddler, yep. Uh, Psycho back. Pirate's probably cheaper for the license. Yeah, that's probably true. That's probably DC's yeah, like, probably. you will you will do a Psycho Pirate. That's what well, we I mean, want that, you to that's do. A, that's a cover, right? Those three characters appear on a cover, right? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, it was a I don't story. think so. I don't, I, think he, I don't think this is a cover, no. No. I didn't read the story, so I, don't, I think I have the book here somewhere. I think. You got to do some research tonight, Eric. Yeah. Maybe it's just an image from inside the comic, but I'm pretty sure that's taken direct from a comic. I have the paper back. All right. Well, Eric's going to thumb, thumb through it. See what we can find. Uh, we'll move on to PCS. Uh, this is a piece. Uh, these are quarter scale pieces. And this, of course, is from the finale of the first film. I think this one's a lot of fun. No, it's really fun. Oh, it looks cool. Yeah. Um, you can buy her separately, uh, or the dogs are all all three. But like, if you're gonna get if you're gonna get this, you I gotta get you all, gotta, all of them. Yeah, I think you gotta buy the whole set if you're gonna do it. And look how big it is compared to the Coke can uh, or the premium or the PCS can here. Three feet or three three yards. Yeah, no, three, three yards. Feet, three feet. Yeah, it's crazy. But I think that's a lot of fun. It is. So if you're a Ghostbusters fan, I could see you wanting to pick this one up for sure, especially at that scale. That's fun. And then you can, here it is, buying her separately. Right. Which is the stairs. So yeah, you to me, you'd want the dogs. A couple different portraits on her. Mm-hmm. So it's fun. Now you just need a, like a, a big stay puff behind them. They're, oh, they're, they're, doing it. they're doing it are they really at that scale yeah just the whole thing or just the top uh, i think they're doing the whole thing oh my god yeah that's gonna be nuts that's cool so yeah a lot of a lot of fun detail on her it's a very 80s costume isn't it yeah yep mm-hmm. all right Oh, here's the original actress. I think they did a nice job. Yeah. All right, there's our board, Johnny. Uh, this is a new piece from Hot Toys um, that came out with had some uh, real hair, real wool uh, dreads. Look at that likeness. Yeah, it's pretty darn good. Is that not just it insane? Good. They even suckered me into that one. Yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> What are you going to do with the hot toys, Jeff? Jeff has low key mentioned at least three pre orders tonight. If yes, he has. <laughs> yes, he has. Who, me? Con- content coming to the secret sanctuary. <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny. It's so good, though. It's really good. It's legit. Yep. I'll give it that. 
yeah, it's it so totally, good. I would yeah. love, come on, Prime One, one third scale Pirates of the Caribbean stuff. I would yeah. buy every, I'd buy every one for sure. Mm. I would love a Davy Jones. Look at that. That's really good. It's Six hard to imagine enough. doing any better than that. With the no, it's just, 100%. it's just 100%. Yeah. So good. And then there's the other portrait. Hot Toys continues to impress. Really good. Yeah, I just, that's so good. So anyway, that one is uh, coming out from Hot Toys. And uh, congratulations to anybody that gets that. And look look forward to seeing the review on Secret Sanctuary. Yeah. Ooh. Here's some uh, in-hand photos kind of from their store, but looks just as good there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just awesome. All right, guys, I got to get out of here. Um, I got to take care of, um, I'm on puppy duty now. So, <laughs> hey, no out. worry, Matt. Thank you. All right, y'all have a great one. Thank See you. Guys. Me too. Yep. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, bye. Um, this is a uh, Legendary Beast Joker teaser that uh, Jay has done. Obviously, the Joker, but then you can also attach, which I'm assuming will be a deluxe version, uh, Harley. <laughs> what do you guys think? Yeah, it looks really good. Oh, and that Joker has like 47 portraits. I know. <laughs> Dan, do you have your eye on this one? I like it. I, I'm anxious to see more. I would imagine that we'll have the pre-order in the next month or so. I do like it. You think they're going to do that before Wonder Woman? I do. Oh, wow. I do. I think he'll be next. Hmm. Now, this is one of those 87 portraits that Jeff was just referring to. Yeah. Uh, got a Capullo face here, which is great. I don't love this one. No. Something trying to do Alex Ross there. Yeah, I just I don't know. I just don't love it. Hey, Justin, just saw Abigail. I'm I wanna I'm I'm looking forward to that one. That's gonna be a yeah, that looks scary. Too. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, this looks scary. Cool. Uh, we talked about Michelle Pfeiffer earlier. This is the uh, the Dark Side Collectibles one. It's going to be shipping soon. Uh, what do you guys think? I think Dark Side has got to invest in a professional photographer to begin with. Um, as you guys know, I've received three of their pieces. All three of them look better in person than they ever did in pictures. Um, but we get some pretty bad photos from them from the factory and they would be better served to find a professional photographer to take some, th this picture is fine, but um, I bet that that MS portrait is going to look better than how it looks in that photo. I do too. And the hair, the hair does not look good there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm anxious to see in hand. Hopefully, hopefully we'll have her soon. Uh, Cause I know people have been waiting a long time. I've heard a lot of negative stuff about this piece hmm. on other streams. And I keep trying to remind people they did this in quarter scale as well. And there's going to be a lot of very happy quarter scale collectors out there when they get this. Yep. yep. And I think the one third scale collectors might be happy too. Some people like me do not want to futz with rooted hair or um, fabric clothing or, you know, that kind of stuff. Right. And um, whether it's this piece or the Terminator piece they're doing, they're a good alternative um, for these characters. Yep. Agreed. Uh, they also have teased, I believe this was uh, one of the J&D teasers. Um, mm -hmm. that I just thought it was interesting. It's a cool photo, the way that they kind of documented the, the, uh, the, cl the claws. Right. Pretty neat. Uh, this was a piece from, oh, I don't know. They teased, I, I thought I had some photos of this, but they've teased a rooted hair version of the Bruce Lee, which they've done prior. That's a, that's a great piece. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan, but that's a great piece. It's good. Uh, you had mentioned uh, J and D, the Cavill, or maybe it was, we we're talking about the Reeves, but uh, well, in, hand, in, in hand photos here of Cavill, what do you guys think? Holy cow. Really? If Cavill was an ugly dude, <laughs> had a bit of a duck face here. Oh man! But he's not. He's That's not. the problem. What happened to him? Uh, 
I, I don't know. Like, and I feel like, look at the costume. Like, it's that's terrible. All I'm these oak, like the it looks cartoony. Yep. The, I'm sorry, but that's terrible. That is really bad. But that's that's some in hand. And again, these are just photos, so you know, take it with a grain of salt. Is that hospitalized? Been yeah. sick for six months, Henry Cavill. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah, this is my wife's hall pass right here. Not that guy. Not, not actually Henry Cavill, but this guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Honey, oh, you're in luck. Sorry, wife. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> wow. But yeah. I'll yeah. mute my mic. All right. um, oh, I got an echo all of a sudden. My we, didn't, we didn't help our reputation as J&D haters tonight. No. Mm -hmm. We solidified. <laughs> yes, solidified. <laughs> <laughs> reinforced, yes. Yeah, reinforced. <laughs> you can send your cards and letters to Eric B. Yep. <laughs> but I do. <laughs> Henry Cantville. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Justin. I can't remember who made this Batman. Do you guys remember this one? This is oh, this is Marilyn Monroe Batman. Yeah, it is Marilyn Monroe Batman. <laughs> what I call him the last time? Henry Cav Ill. He's dead. Yeah, Cav Ill, yeah. Cav Ill. Well, talk about no no texture, no detail. Wow, that thing! Is... I think this. Uh, I was I was on the website today. I think it's uh, sold out, like waitlisted already. <laughs> no way! <laughs> it didn't even have any paint on the face, <laughs> right? Oh, the portrait's the worst. Look at that! Oh, look at that! It's like a like a melted candle. Oh, wait, what is it with like the tw twirling the cape? Like I'm a very pretty Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I feel pretty, oh so pretty, <laughs> like Marilyn Monroe. Uh, is this like a Delato art? No. He's our, no, no, I don't know what I don't remember who made this. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Yeah, ask, ask Del Otto if this is a Del Otto piece. See what he's yeah, says. not a Del Otto piece. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna this look gives it up. Gives you an idea of how big it is. So it's not a very big piece. I'm done looking up, and I'm gonna look up this now. <laughs> but, yeah, I feel like I saw this. Oh, here we go. There's the no paint. It looks like a uh, wax. It mm -hmm. does. Right. Yeah. It's just very weird. I don't know. Who, may, who makes this? Like, it looks like a cake topper. Maybe maybe it's one of those statues that turns out to be a cake. <laughs> yes, it might be. It looks delicious. <laughs> who, who makes it's this? Got one? some like white fondant in there. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Chris, who's that by? <laughs> who's this by? I have no idea. Betty Crocker. <laughs> yeah, Betty Crocker. Should I type in Della? <laughs> Oh my god. Jeff will be here all week. Try oh, the veal, no. folks. Oh my god. That's funny. <laughs> Betty Crocker. Cracking Honestly. myself up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Next week's episode is going to be brought to you by Chef Boy RD. Yep. Mm -hmm. Look at this and then look at that. Yeah. Wow. I yeah. like this a lot. This is the uh, Iron Studios. Um, this Grumpy is Jeff has two problems with this statue. Oh, I like to hear. Did you say Grumpy Jeff? Grumpy Jeff, yeah. Okay, Grumpy Jeff. Really? So he's standing straight up. Why is his costume gathered that way at his waist? It makes no sense. Uh, do I have a picture of the waist? Let me see if I do. You do. It looks really bad. Oh, there. What's it is. up with that? It's too big for him. And then, do you have one of the back of her head? <laughs> oh. Is she bald or what? Oh, her his pants are bushed. Bunched up too. Yeah. Well, here's her front of her. I, I love the portrait. I love her portrait. Yeah. Love it. But look at the back of her head. Uh, the, mask, the mask doesn't go down far enough. There should be some hair coming out the bottom. Oh. It's too. It's too high. To oh not have yeah. So look she's like, bald, Jerry. <laughs> she's bald. <laughs> bald. She's bald. So what is this like? Six scale. Six. Yeah. Otherwise, I like this. I it's like fun. it a lot. Yeah. I think it's fun. Yeah. I like Batman's portrait. I think it's good. Um, yeah. But I, I agree. Like, But here's, here it is the whole thing. But, uh, now, the, what Jeff points out, you can't unsee. Yeah. So yeah. Why would they do that? I don't know why they would do that. And she's bald. Uh -huh. <laughs> I found it. So I, I'm a. I just have to say this. I'm a big Seinfeld fan, major Seinfeld fan, and they are four of the characters are going to be at Fan Expo Dallas. No way, really. So Patrick Warburton, yep, who played Putty, and I've actually was on a boat with him for an hour in Hawaii, 
and him and his family. And so he also is, does the Soren video. Yeah. Um, and so we're going to meet him, Wayne Knight, who played Newman. Newman. He's yeah. going to be there, and I can't wait. So I'm going to get a picture with them. And then also uh, the guy that played the soup Nazi and the lawyer, um, Jackie. I can't think oh, of his Jackie. name. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Jackie. But the four of them are going to be there. I'm like, how great is that? <laughs> I so love I, Seinfeld. I, I found that cape, the Batman. It's by... Um... I lost it. Where'd it go? Oh, it's by Pure Arts, and it's based off the artwork of Neil Adams. It's saying down to his illustration exactly. That does not look like Neil that doesn't Ad look like Neil Adams. No. I sent you the link. Not one bit. And it is waitlisted. It says join the waitlist. Oh. Must have been free. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see the price. <laughs> was, uh, they're, they're, they're practically giving away statues these days. It was eighty-five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this episode has been brought to you by Betty Crocker. Yes. <laughs> the Neil Adams Cake of Champions. So anyway, I think we've probably spent enough time on this piece, but I do I do really like the portrait. Yep, yep. I do too. Agreed. It's fun. Both portraits. Um, yeah, it's good. Okay. So I had to show this off. This is my new punchline I'm getting. Yeah, that's um, cool. So I asked, uh, I've been talking with uh, George Menace online quite a bit, um, and I'm getting two commissions from him. I'm getting this one, and you, you, you see that he even did the Brotherhood logo yeah, uh, in, her, in her fingers there, um, which I thought was really yeah, a nice really touch. Cool. But, but I, just, I said, hey, would you be willing to do her biting her lip like the Prime 1 statue? And that's exactly what he did. Um, it, looks, it looks kind of yellowish here, but it's on white paper, so it's black and white. Wow. Um, and then I also, um, and I haven't seen it yet, but uh, he's also doing the, his version of Scarecrow for me. Nice. Which is also awesome. Yeah. I, I Just the portrait. It's not the full bust. It's just a yep. head, headshot. So I just, <laughs> I, I just thought I had to take the opportunity because his, his Scarecrow is so unique. It's awesome. I love it. I, I would love Prime 1 to do his Scarecrow. That would be something. So anyway, I just wanted to show that piece off. Uh, this is from Queen... Uh, this is a Spider-Man versus Venom. Uh, I haven't heard much talk about this one, but it is quarter scale. Um, hmm. What do you guys think of this one? I, I, I just feel like it's kind of okay. I feel like we talked about that. I think you can, uh, yeah, the bases, like you can move Spider-Man. So he's like facing Venom, I think, or something like that. That'd be cool. I thought I heard that from somebody. Oh. You might be right. So I've got to ask a question. And this is from someone who I didn't, I, I have no attachment to Venom whatsoever. Um, never read it, never cared. You know, just wasn't my character. But why is this the first Venom piece I see where he doesn't have any of those tendril things coming off of him? They, they break too easy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. I, I don't know the answer to that. Is significance to that? Yeah, I don't, I don't follow the character too much either. I, I like Spider-Man. That's It's definitely way too big of a Venom for my liking, but uh, I do like the sculpt on Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah Spider-Man does look good. Yeah, I love the pose on him. I think it's a really, really cool Spider-Man as well, but I, I don't know the answer to that on, on Venom. I'm just wondering yeah. if, if, if it's going to be something that would bug you know, Venom fans. He kind of looks like that red monster character from the Looney Tunes. The, the Looney Tunes. <laughs> Oh my, god. <laughs> oh my god this is like mike night here tonight on rogues gallery <laughs> the, the thing we, we wear sneakers <laughs> <laughs> we should go on tour and do a comedy act i like really it should. We, i like it <laughs> yeah. we could talk about venom's tiny butt i mean we could do all kinds of fun things oh here god. yeah that's awesome but anyway oh, yeah, that's uh, separate. you can see it comes off yeah but live rose, rogues gallery live roast tonight. That's, <laughs> roast. That's awesome. That's a great idea show. for a show. Yeah, it awesome. would be really funny. Yep. We're just gonna roast everything. That's right. <laughs> oh, I love it. I gotta find a picture of that thing. Uh here's a few uh pictures uh from their 10 scale line from Iron Studios. I don't know what this is from. I can't I don't, I don't know if you guys know. <laughs> no. Oh, Thundercats. Oh, so, that's why I don't know. Yeah, I don't know anything about Thundercats. I'm sorry. Look, it's Venom. Yep. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> it's got the same shape with the shoulders. Like <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought I put a cat. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's too funny. 
Uh, this is from Ahsoka, one ten scale stormtrooper. Again, just some of their their ten scale stuff that they've teased and and are up for pre order. Man, they could do every version of stormtrooper and make a fortune. Yes, they could. I thought this one looked really good. That looks good too. They just kill it with these ten scales. They really do. They they just uh, knock them out. Yep, and they're so good. Yeah, they are really good. Yep. There's another one from Ahsoka, hmm. which I have not watched that show yet, so I don't know if it's accurate. Me neither. But it's kind of cool. You can put them all together. Yep. That is neat. Love this one. This is a really. Now this is a really fun piece. They, they they had a. I think this was a quarter scale. They shrunk down. Um. They had this, this in quarter scale. I, I think. I, I feel like this is one that they shrunk down that they already did years ago. I think mm, you're right. I don't know. I don't know. Well, the I juggernaut definitely looks like the old sideshow one, though. But anyway, it's still a big piece for being 10 scale. Oh, this is Iron Studios, stuff. Yeah, yeah Iron, Iron Studios. So I don't know. Um, they've also teased this line. Um, oh, Justin Racklin said it was originally one sixth. Oh, one sixth. Wow. Okay, thank you, Justin. But still, pretty. That yeah, that, that makes more sense. Yeah. Uh, remember the, the the old one I had of Batman and Bane. Yeah. This, so that that same size there. That gotcha. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they're also doing some of the stylized ones here. That's cool from the cartoon. Does that have the? It doesn't have the cell shading so much on it, though, huh? Eh, kind of. A little bit. A little bit. Maybe. I mean, they're, they're, they're trying. Yeah. Two lines. Yeah, Chris, it's got I'm a few. sending you a, a picture of a reveal that happened during the show. <laughs> I like reveals. It is the new. Um, oh crap! Where is it? Um, it's another piece from the new horror line from Sideshow. Are you sending it on our private chat? Yeah, it'll just be a second here. Okay. Okay, and then go here and here. And it's a uh, Krampus. Um, oops, not that one. Grab us. You guys don't know Krampus? Maybe. I do want to see Not really. Oh, no, I don't. He's, he's kind of like an evil Santa Claus. He comes and uh, it seals your children away instead of bringing them gifts. <laughs> anyway, I just sent it. That's festive. <laughs> Carries a big basket on his back so he can take away your children. Perfect. Yeah, it's terrifying. I'll, I'll try to bring that up here at the end, guys. Yep. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, Batman, uh, this is the City of Bane again, another piece that went up for pre-order. This is the Flashpoint Batman. I like um, this one. Yep. I do too. That's cool. That is I cool haven't though. ordered him. It's good though. That looks good. Yep. Quarter now, scale. is that quarter scale, Chris? Quarter scale. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it'll be, I mean, it, it looks simplistic kind of when you look at it. Like, it looks yeah. like it's smaller, but at the same time, like, it's going to be quarter scale. So, it's going to be It'll be a good size. Good size, but obviously Thomas Wayne. I love this one way more than the uh, the Arkham one they did. Yeah, uh, definitely more true to the comic, obviously. But there's not a lot of bells and whistles. Like the base yeah. is extremely simple. It, I mean, it doesn't get any more museum than that. He's just yeah, I mean, this straight is, up. This, yeah, <laughs> museum through and through. But I do think it looks cool. So that's that's another one of my maybes. So what else would you pair him with? If you don't buy the Bane, that's the problem. See, that's what I'm thinking. To like, where do you put them? Because where do you put it? Best with Bane, and that's it. Yep, that's that was the exact same thought, Dan. I'm like, that's why yeah. I haven't ordered. I'm like, I don't know where I'd put him. Yeah, or maybe you could put him like a pie, like above Batman or something. I don't know. Which is probably why they did him as part of the set. Like, where else do you put him? So they put him with the set. You know, I mean, if I were to pair him, for example, with the, um, you know, Sideshow's Bane PF, the newer one, right. Could you do that? I mean, Maybe. no, I know you can, but would it Maybe. Look okay. It's possible. Might look okay. I don't think it'd look too bad. Yeah. I mean, but you know, he's kind of upright with his fist, you know, and he's kind of, he could stand behind him, hulking beside yeah. him. I think yeah. that might look okay. Hmm. That's a possibility. Yeah. But it's a cool sculpt. I like I like it. I, I'm no. assuming it's very Fabok inspired again. Yeah. <laughs> that cowl. I, you know what I like about that idea, Chris? Actually, now that I just said that out loud, is it mm -hmm. if you were to pay, to tie it with the PF, the Bane PF, it kind of it adds more story to that Bane PF. It sure I mean, does. 
he's a you know he, he's based on comic book Bane. Yeah, that's good. Not something that ties you know that now it becomes you know City of Bane. It, I don't know. It just becomes a lot more robust from a story standpoint. And I think Bane is up high enough that Batman would look slightly shorter if he stood in front if he stands in front of Bane. With right. Bane kind of ha having his back behind him, like I think it, right. I think it could pair up really nice, Dan. Yeah, that could work. I think it would. I think it could be real nice. Put him next to Alfred. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is this Constipation Superman? This or? is Constipation Superman. <laughs> okay. He has really got to go. He's got, something's got to happen. Yep. He mm -hmm. he is he has not had his Taco Bell this week. <laughs> not happy about it. No, I just don't know. Like, who wants this angry Superman? Uh, no, other no. than Art Statue Collector. <laughs> Why does he have a cleft nose? <laughs> he does. <laughs> well, Henry Cavill has that. I think. Oh my god, he's got a butt chin on his he's nose. He's got a butt chin on his nose. How does yeah, that happen? It happens. Yeah. Well, this this still looks better than the J and D one. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, the, the J and D one is really bad. Uh, I, I think this, I don't know. I, I, I feel like the, 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 the person that would want this is so limited. Yeah. I think if you're going to want a Henry Cavill, you want something kind of like what they did with the queen studios piece. Like it looks really good to me. It looks like he's angry at his barber. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you give me this pompadour. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was awesome. Well, at least he has uh, curly hair going out of the back of his neck instead of that Iron Studios <laughs> one that didn't. <laughs> but oh. anyway, I do think it. I mean, obviously, I I love what Infinity does. Like they their their quality is fantastic. But I just don't care for this one. Oh my god, that was the one of the best ones of the night. He's <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, and it does have the light up feature, which is cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. turn off the lights with that one. <laughs> yep. Yeah, <laughs> just, just keep the lights off. Yep. Uh, this is a Kickstarter from McFarlane, which I thought was really interesting. Um, this is the the Batman that the, to me, I I could see Prime One doing this all day long. Um, with some sort of diorama with Spawn. I'm actually amazed that we haven't seen something yet. No but, license. Uh, that's why they will. Yeah, Todd will get it up. up. Yeah. Oh, he won't give it out. Right. Haha. Uh -huh. He's yeah. got his own company. Why would he give it out? Yeah. I guess, but like, like, could you imagine Prime One doing a spawn? He'll do it himself. Yeah. yeah. That's not not to Prime One's quality though. Well, we'll see. I like actually. I really like the way the Batman looks here. This, this is this is a pretty good statue. The whole statue looks good. It's just yeah. gonna be small. You know, it's I mean, be small. Well, I well, think it's what it's 20, it's, twenty-five inches tall. Yeah, it's like twenty-five it's, inches. Still, like, I don't know. I, th I mean, like, again, I like this Batman better than what we saw from Sideshow here. Yeah, me too. Oh, for sure. I yeah. think it was 500. But I think it's really cool. I do. Five, too. and then I think you get a few. It was like a Kickstarter type campaign, right? I think you get a few goodies if you. Yeah, there were like four know. levels, and I think the top three sold out pretty Yeah, quick. those went quick. You get like a signed comic mm -hmm. or something. That's like cool. That. The, and this is right off um, Batman Spawn number one. This is his, his cover. Yep. Yeah, this is yeah, a yeah, spot right. on. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, teasers from Blitzway. We have the the Rocky, which uh, April twelfth uh, is uh, already passed, but uh, they did already. Sh I, I didn't have a chance to put the new photos of the um, the Tom Hardy Legend ones, but they looked really good. So they um, looked really good. But is there a market for that character? I, I can't imagine there being much of, of a market other than if you're just a fan of the actor. Yeah, I mean, the other two here, I totally get it, and they're going to sell well, but I'm not sure about Legend. I think Scarface especially. Like I, yeah. I think that one's going to sell a ton. Yeah. Wouldn't you rather see Tom Hardy as Mad Bane. Max? Or Maybe. Mad Max or Bane, either one. Bane, Bane, Bane. yeah, but you know, if you don't want to pay the, you know, the DC license, just go for Mad Max and I don't know. I, I I'm I'm pretty dumbfounded by it too. Yeah. This looks great. That looks good. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I'm I'm tempted on that one. Yeah, Blitzway. They're doing some really good stuff. So they did Rocky two years ago, and this is Rocky one. Yep. Awesome. Looks so good. Uh, and it's yeah, and it's six fifty. That's wow. it. Wow. 
quarter scale 650. It's got rooted hair, fabric coat. Actually, it's probably all fabric clothes. It's that's that's a great price. It's really great. Uh, these are some in-hand photos of the Daenerys from um, Game of Thrones. I thought some of these pictures, I think they, they make, her, make her look even better. That she looks cool. awesome there. And whoever did the hair like this did a phenomenal job. Yeah. That looks way better with her hair like that. I yep. agree. I agree, too. Yeah, yep. somebody really took some time. Yep. That's just not bad. Right there is perfect. Yeah. Yep, perfect. That's her. See it there yeah, right? yeah just, I, I think this one turned out really nice. Yep. Um, and again, I, I love these displays. They look really nice. It's amazing though. Like, like that for that being a life-size bust, it just seems small to me. It does. <laughs> like when you look at a third scale next to it, mm -hmm. you know, they don't, it just doesn't feel like it's true life-size, but I could be wrong. I don't know how big she is in real life. You know, I think she's small. Yeah. She must, must be. Yeah. There's a little fisheye lens going on there too. Yeah. Could be. Uh, this is a new piece from Infinity um, that I thought was really well done. Looks really good. Uh, portrait spot on to me. Um, and again, this is uh, one third scale. So you can imagine how big she's going to be because Three they're, already, they're already massive, you know? Yeah. Right. Um, so I would, I would imagine that this one will be even bigger than a half scale, really. And there's two versions. What's the other version? Uh, I'm not sure which one you're showing, but there's a regular and a deluxe, and the deluxe has a lot more going on around her, and I think part of her costume is different too. Okay. But it's a big difference in price, and uh, it's really cool. The paint job is really cool. It has kind of a glow-in-the-dark thing going on. That's neat. Like a star. I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah, probably just like the movie. I mean, it's... Yeah, similar. Just, like, just like the movie. That's really cool. A lot of nice detail. Uh, here's the, the base, at least, of this version. But I, I thought it looked really nice. It looks great. Especially, I just think the likeness is It Wasn't the edition kind of small? I, I think so. I don't think it's very it's, big on this one. I think it's pretty limited. Uh, this was some more from PCS. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the Cami Workout, I believe, is what this one was called. Mm -hmm. But there's three different versions. I don't know how many people want a squatting Cami, but there you go. Which one to choose? Yeah. Uh, this was a photo of the uh, Christopher Lee Infinity piece. I thought this one, I haven't seen many photos of him, but it's looking good from what I've seen so far. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, in hand, a photo today of the uh, the Joker. And uh, again, this is something that Eric and I are getting in on Tuesday. Um, we might do a live unboxing that night. We'll see. Um, but Anyway, I'm excited to get this one in. I know it's, again, not everybody's cup of tea, but I'm excited to see what it's like. Yeah. I think it's going to be massive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, threw this in from Fabok. I thought that was exciting. They're doing a new Joker, and he uh, is doing another cover, which is very reminiscent of his three Jokers covers. Love it. It's really cool. Yep. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. And that's it. Awesome. Very nice. Nice. Oh, show that thing I sent you. Yeah, that thing oh, was yeah. cool. Let me uh, let me download it real quick. Krampus. Krampus. There's a movie Krampus, a horror movie. Krampus. Yeah. But this is this is that character, right? Like it's. Yeah. Well, the movie is based on that character. Yeah. But that's why I'm surprised. Like I thought Sideshow was doing their own their own thing. Well, I think Maybe. Krampus is like a legend. It's not. This isn't based on the movie. The movie's based on the legend. Oh, wow. so it's like um, no no license, basically. So I that, thought I, I think I thought I had um sorry City of Bane. It's uh, I am Bane, but it does have oh. Psycho Pirate up in there. Hold on, let me. Uh, <laughs> but he's not on. He's not on the cover. Wait, he's on my hand. No, oh, right there. Oh, there he is. Is that the only picture? Just a yeah. One I, don't know. I, was, him? I was scrolling through it quickly, but you know, there's a lot of characters. Riddler in there. There's everybody. I take it, Riddler. Uh, anyway, here's the Krampus that uh, Jeff was talking about. So th that's, that's a fun concept. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Yep, like that a lot. Half goat, half demon monster that punishes misbehaving children at Christmas time. You know what? Are you still reading? No, go ahead. 
No, um, now that you showed that, I was looking at those. Is this is the same line as those silhouettes from before? Because this looks like one of the silhouettes when you mentioned that. One of the, the two on the yes. right. Yeah, yeah, when you said there was a Medusa, the one on the right, I was trying. It looked like some type of like hunched over figure. I think Different. that's the one. Yep. Let me uh, let me go back into that really quick because I can show you what we're talking about if I can find it. Okay, here is uh, the silhouette. So, yeah, off to the right there. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can kind of make it out if you look. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely the same thing. Yeah, yeah. see that that curl yeah. right there, that curl the of his beard. Yeah, and the two horns going around. Yeah. Yep. So we got a Medusa, Krampus, and then whoever that is. <laughs> Bride Lady, of Dracula. Lady Dracula. Yeah, Lady Bride of, yeah. Vamp vampire or something. Could be. But yeah, cool stuff. Very. Yeah. Just a succulent. <laughs> I just have to think there's 192 people watching right now. Thank you guys so very much. If you would do us a giant favor and hit the like button. And as I say, we'll wait. <laughs> and hit the like button. All right. Yeah, there we go. All right. All right. The real question is, has Dan and Jeff and Eric hit the like button? I did earlier. Yeah. Okay, so good. Somebody, <laughs> oh, he just oh, oh, he liked he like, himself right out button. of the stream. <laughs> he liked himself right out. Okay. He was like, "Screw you, Chris! I'm not hitting that button." Wrong button. <laughs> he literally hit the wrong button. That was pretty funny. <laughs> Jeff's like, "Screw you guys! I'm gonna go eat." Yep. Well, let's see if he pops back on. But anyway, I just want to say uh, I'm looking forward to Friday night. Uh, I cannot wait. I hope there's some really cool stuff. I hope it reinvigorates our passion for this hobby. There he is. But you hit the wrong button. I hit. I did hit the wrong button. You're like, I'm hitting the like button. Screw you guys. I'm out of here. I said, I said, screw you guys. I'm going. I'm going to go eat. Yeah. That was hilarious. I can't even. I think this has been our funniest show in in decades. Like it's, 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 it's yeah, a lot of laughs on this one. A lot of laughs on this one, which is which is good. Uh, I, you got, I don't know if you got the. There was a one one Jeff Morse is in the chat, and two I don't know. You had a super chat. I don't know if you covered it. It was uh, two dollars from. Uh, i love that okay so i missed a super chat but i don't know where where is it there's something about dan doing his impression of no um, it's somebody asking oh right there your yeah. joker or your john uh, your johnny um voice did your, you do uh, a sparrow impression the sparrow impression no you did it and you were talking about me oh about in, in that video no on the last show uh like, as I go in, like, sticks and stones, love. Yeah, right, that. Yeah, We're yeah. going to go to Tortuga, and then after we go to Tortuga, we're going to go and visit Delaney of the Secret Sanctuary, Savvy? I don't know why they encourage him, but... I don't know either. <laughs> hey, but thank you for encouraging me. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, if I can't embarrass myself, you know... Oh, right. I got to give a shout out to Showtime 101 member for 34 months wow. uh, as a member, which is absolutely incredible. So let's uh, give him, uh, them a round of applause. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, uh, says tonight has been fun. I'm glad to hear that. That's pretty. <laughs> Thank you for humoring me, guys. Thank you. That was pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, anyway, you guys excited about Friday? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Be cool. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Again, uh, probably around 7.30 is when we'll start Central Standard Time, 8 East. Uh, and what is that? Uh, 7 or 5.30? 5.30 for me. Yeah, 5.30 for you. So uh, for uh, the uh, the uh, West Coast folk. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you guys for hanging out with us tonight. And uh, again, I'm looking forward to Friday night. And I think so we'll wrap it up. who's inclined should bring an adult beverage Friday night because I'm thinking popcorn and adult beverages. I, I'm going to double up on that. I'm going to have two little Conoritas uh, right go. in my hands. There you go. And I'm going to have some bowl of popcorn and I'm going to join you. So that sounds All really right. good. Sounds so anybody, good. Uh, anybody that uh, if I ever say really, really, which I say all the time in every single video, yeah. everybody takes a drink. Yep. Okay. okay. Chris, That's can I plug world. my website before we leave? Yes, please. So I finally revised my website. I've got about a dozen statues on there and about 50 slabs. So check it out. It's detective27.com. You can see it right there. It's been there all night, uh, detective27.com. So definitely check that out. Anything new on your all things art, Eric? Um, yeah, in the middle of doing some, uh, you know, paint ups on kits and stuff like that. The uh, channel's doing good. I'm reaching about almost 7,000 subscribers. So thank you to everyone that's uh, nice. subscribed. 
It's really awesome. Um, and I just want to thank you again, personally for the, uh, the repair job you did for me. I really, I can't thank you enough for, for taking care of that. Oh, no problem. Sorry. It took yeah. so long, but yeah, eventually That's got okay. it. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, but anyway, thanks again, everybody for watching and we'll see you Friday night for the uh, live reaction show. Good night, everybody. Good deal. Night, guys.